going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another live stream. I noticed something. Um, Omega Imani was on this screen, and then she just vanished. I don't know why. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, we're going to play this champion on my screen right here today because I want to get better at her. But now I can't do that. The bit's ruined. Why do you do this to me, Paladins? Anyways, yeah. Clues in the name of the stream. We are playing some Imani today. It's just going to be an Imani stream, because I want to play Imani, and I want to get better at her, and she's fun. So, need I say more? Let's invite some people to the party. So if you want to join, say your name in the chat, starting with Natazi and working our way down. We got Delta Sapphire and Connor Gao 3 do do and Dajiki. There we Wait, hold on. Uh... Wait a minute. What? <laughs> uh, loading in. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is an earlier stream today, as I'm sure you all are aware. And uh, that's because I have some stuff I need to do later. So we're going to be ending the stream at about 3 o'clock today. Which, yeah, is in approximately two and a half hours. So it's actually going to be a bit of a shorter stream today. But, uh, yeah, I have just I have things to do today. So, you know... <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do. Still have to stream sometimes, so, yeah. Uh, let's invite Jiki now. There we go. I saw you say hello in the VOD and fell over laughing. Thanks for that, yo. <laughs> yes, that worked. The bit would have been ruined if you didn't leave fast enough. Well, you know, when you actually said you had to leave. It's perfect. Okay, well, here we go. Let's, uh, queue. Oh, cards to the max is back. Neat. And, uh, yeah, we got a skin request for Purple Imani. Where is that? Imani. Oh, okay. Yes, we'll wait. Siege. There we go. Select your champion. Ooh, and Dragon Mount for Imani. Okay. Customize well, there's champion. Genesis, and Imani. which dragon do we do? There is this one, Skeletal Dragon, and that would match the skin, because it's purple. Um... There's also the Winged Drake. That's a bit more classic. If I was using the Fantasy skin, that would be incredible. Um, what other dragons are there? I guess there's the Two-Legged Dragon somewhere. But, eh, I don't really want to use that one. I'll just, I'll match, I'll match this skin. That sounds about right. There we go. Omega best Imani skin, but it costs 2,400 crystals. Yeah, it's so expensive. If you can get it from the chest, then you should get it from the chest. Because it's just better that way. It's just so much cheaper. Or at the very least, if you end up spending yeah, the same amount of crystals on the way. chest, because you get unlucky, then you get a bunch of other skins for the amount of crystals you spent. So it's just a win, no matter what. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, they've got... A very bland team comp. <laughs> Dredge, Ray, Azon, Vora, Genos. Double support, I suppose, will be a bit annoying for us. Because my Inferno Cannon doesn't apply Cauterize. Gosh dang it. But uh, hopefully we'll be okay. I don't know. It is the warm-up game. Ray could really hurt my fireballs. So we might be in for a bit of a doozy here. But I don't know. I'll just uh, I'll drink some more coffee. Mm. There we go. I got to power up. And, uh, get ready for the stream. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> From two American chests, I got Freegal and Americon, so I consider my luck depleted. Yo. What a legendary combo right there. <laughs> yes. Uh, someone's not looting in. Oh, it's Delta. Because the numbers aren't on the frame. Did Delta say anything in chat? Uh, where's my mouse? Actually, where's my mouse? Start. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, Delta Crash. Don't alt-tab in the menus. Yeah, you gotta be careful alt-tabbing. I still have a pretty nasty bug that appears sometimes when I'm launching the game. You know how on Windows, on Steam, you have to basically enable easy anti-cheat twice in a row? Uh, every single time you launch the game? Because it's just some sort of weird bug? Well, when the game is launching... Like, during that phase, or immediately after the second uh, the battle is confirmation of easy anti-cheat, sometimes it'll just, like, break my GPU. I, that's the only way I can describe it. it. It basically... it Like, my screen just goes completely black. I hear the sound of 
something disconnecting, and then reconnecting a few seconds later, and then the screen turns back on. And a few programs just get glitchy looking, and Discord crashes, and it's not great. Usually it happens when I just, like, I don't know, click on my browser after pressing, you know, the launch game button, or anything like that, really. Hello. Okay. Well, I guess I've been pushed up to space. Thank you, Azan. Enjoy this fire. But yeah, that happened to me last night. I was just trying to get on Paladins, and then everything went haywire. And usually everything's fine after that, but I like to restart my computer anyways after that happens, just to be on the safe side. Like, I recorded the video, and then just kind of dipped, restarted my computer real quick. Uh, please die before you kill me. I need a heal. Where's my healer? Oh, thank you, Pip. Okay. Uh, here, take this so I can actually hit you. Uh, hold on. Here, take this. Uh, die, please. Yes, I get the kill. Let's go. I'm gonna go over here. Throw this root. Okay. Well, she ran away. I'll group up with uh, Makoa here so we can get a nice potion together. Although I didn't really need it. I got 75 health. Yes. Amazing. Ooh, hello. Wow, I'm so slow. Okay, Ray, please. You gotta stop this. Where have you gone? I don't know. I'm just gonna Inferno Cannon. And then Root. Okay. Wow, Ray does a lot of damage. Jeez. Okay. Well, she is playing damage rate, it looks like. Yeah, Midnight Stroll. Okay. So we gotta be a bit careful for her. Let's head back in. I do have the dragon. Geno Assault fails. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right over here. I know it's a bit separate from my team, but that should be okay. And we can get him before his portal goes down. So now no one's gonna flank me, I hope. Yeah, there's Vora. Wow, that DR card goes insane. Jeez. 110 damage from the dragon? Oh, you're ulting. Okay, well. Oop, my hero's on. Donated one dollar. I guess we're fine. I have a training challenge for you. Training Put challenge. Put together a max health and damage resistance build. Become the tank and really test your situational awareness because with okay. Amani, that's really important. Okay. Should be fun. Ow, you get up dead. close aim Yeah, I guess that sounds pretty good. She does have that DR card on, uh... Elemental shift that I never use because it has a really long internal cooldown and I don't like that. Yeah, we're not gonna take a look at the death counter. Okay. Uh, we really need to regroup. I'm gonna throw this root out just to try and stall. Although, holy crap, they are right up in our spawn. Run away! I already got my fireball ready. Hello! Sir, please. Dude, there's no way he actually out damages that. Why is Inferno Cannon so useless? Buff this ability, high res, please! Why are we limiting ourselves with a 100 damage Inferno Cannon? It's so bad. <laughs> How is he allowed to do that? He just does more damage. This is crazy. Okay, well, let's try and help BK follow up with that. Although it looks like he just hit a Zon, and that was completely pointless because a Zon ulted. So, great. Let's group up here. We got Dredge spamming. There's 1k. Ooh, we all got in the way of that one. Okay. Back up. Thank you for that potion. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can out there. I'll throw the root. Stalling Dredge. That's good. Hello. No thanks. Come on, Inferno Cannon. Do anything. Okay. That with a Koga ult. We'll take him out, finally. I want to deal with that for, uh... Boom. Rooted. There we go. Easy combo. Yeah, someone's trying to shoot at me. Hello, Genos. What's that? Oh, someone bought crystals. Hey, nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> someone brought, bought crystals and tipped, but it says 28 cents. Can you even tip, t like, 28 cents? <laughs> I think the uh, display might be a bit bugged, but I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate it very much. That's your reminder, chat. If you want to buy crystals to buy, I don't know, Omega Imani, then do it at the Nexus. Nexus.gg slash Andrew Chicken. And you support the channel just like that. With 28 cents. <laughs> and uh, more than 28 cents if you buy something more expensive. Oh boy. Well, we're going to lose this pretty horribly. We are struggling right now to this double support comp. 
They have a lot of CC too. I didn't even realize he was playing Grip Genos because that was the first time he gripped me. But I see why everyone has Unbound now, so I'll start to buy some of that. 28 cents can get you half a gumball. Yeah, in today's economy? Jeez. <laughs> Someone went crazy last night and bought, like... I, 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 I don't know. It was, I forget what, like, specific bundle it was, but they tipped. And seconds. I got, like, $11. It was pretty great. Like, I know that's not, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but for just passive income, it, it's pretty, it's, it's nice. I'll take it, you know? Five, four, three, you earn more money from streaming or the Nexus. Oh, from streaming. 100%. Nexus is uh, proportionally a very small portion of the income, but it is a little bit of extra money, and I like that, you know. Especially because, like I said, it's pretty passive. I just shout out the Nexus every now and then, and then, ah, uh, people buy crystals. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to do this here again, and I know this is risky, but that's the point. Because I want to scare them off, and I want to bait them into flanking me. Although it looks like Vora is not doing that just yet, so we can get Genos for free here. Vora's in here, so I know she's not flanking me. Uh, can I get this kill before I run out of ammo? No, he was literally one. Okay. Well, at least the dragon was able to do some good work for us. Do a quick Inferno Cannon. Hello. Here, take this root. Oh, she didn't get rooted. No way, dude, this ray. Ugh. Man, I hate that. Good BK ult, though. I'm gonna pop behind them and throw out a root. Although that completely missed. Apparently the chicken is very fast, and I am very dead. Ah, oh, this Vora actually beats me. I feel so scammed right now. <laughs> Just double ult to ruin all my abilities. <sighs> Andrew buys stuff from his own Nexus to get stuff cheaper? No, I don't even think you're allowed to do that. Like, maybe if I created an ult account, but still, I don't do that. Because I don't buy crystals anymore. Like, just straight up, I, I just don't. Because <laughs> I get crystals for the participation in the new player guide. And that's covered all my crystal expenses for the past, like, several months. Which is pretty cool. You know, being a, uh, one of the most prominent Paladin's partners has its perks, I guess. Wow, that was some alliteration right there. That was fun to say. Oh man, Koga wasn't able to touch. We are getting destroyed this match, man. Absolutely rolled. What are we doing, fellas? An enemy is unstoppable. Well, we desperately need to group up. So please fall back. You're getting rooted. I don't want you to chase me, Dredge. Please stay over there. Thank you. If there's 930 into Ray. She's going to pop envelop, though. Oh, and there's yet another ultimate. You know what? I'm going to hit you with the root and just take you out. Yes. I have another ult. I don't want to use it yet, though. I want to wait for the right opportunity. Wow, dude. She just doesn't take damage from that ability. And another obliterate. Okay, at least I can kill her. Does she have arcane? No, she doesn't. That's just her DR card. But the DR card scales up to arcane warding level 3, so... That's just... That's insane. Imagine if she bought arcane on top of that. Alright. I'm going to ult back here. Should be reasonably safe, I hope. Oh, he is so low. Oh, he found me. Time to incinerate him. <laughs> yeah, you're not flanking me. Vora, you're not flanking me either. I don't care what your DR card says. That's the double kill. And... Alright, you're gonna get away, and that's the end of the dragon. The dragon feels so, 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 so good, though. After that last bug fix. I really can't emphasize enough how good it feels. Like, it really is divine. I feel like I can actually get kills with it now. I love it. Alright, there's a root back there. BK was up too far, though. We need to regroup. Okay, I'm gonna fall back. It's literally just Makoa and me out here. I'll do an Inferno Cannon as cover fire. It's not really hitting anybody, and I'm gonna die. Okay, goodbye. Uh, well, Pipolt came out. That Did that even chicken anybody? I didn't see. Didn't look like it. BK's dead just trying to touch. It is officially over. I'm not even gonna leave spawn. What's the point? <laughs> uh.
Okay, well, bit of a rough start to the day. I'm just going to chalk that up to it being a warm-up game. And we'll do better next time. How did I do? Well, I got 10 kills. That's pretty cool, I guess. 86,000 damage. Looks like our other DPS needed a bit more of a warm-up than I did. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's queue again. And let's get the Amelia Watson announcer pack out for... Uh, Rostar. And actually, wait, I do need to make a build, technically. Because hey, I don't actually have this HP build around. So we need this at level 5. And, yeah, it's just max health and damage resistance. So this is the only DR card she has, right? Affinity. Uh, what else is there? There's heal after elemental shift. There's a shield while dropping below 50% health. That's interesting. Uh, and there's also healing. So I guess I'll do a combination of this, because it's like 400 extra hit points. And then I'll do healing while in Frostfire Glide, and a tiny heal on Elemental Shift. Just really hammer home the point of survivability. We'll call it HP, and then a bunch of question marks. That should be satisfactory. There we go. Let's queue. How am I supposed to heal and damage for 215,000 in one match? Uh, you just play someone who's good at doing both damage and healing and play a long match. I actually did it in my Lilith match I posted on the YouTube channel a few days ago. Mr. Paladin's invite. Invite Delta. All right. I forgot. There you go. All right. Let's go. I have three questions. Do you think Victor, in its basic style, can be a strong champion to use? Do you think Genos needs a buff? And what's the state of Rom? All right. Well, Victor, yeah, is good enough if you play him Siege. and have good aim and positioning. He's Select not meta, a champion. and he never should be meta, quite frankly. He is perfectly functional as the default character, and that's good, you know? Uh, Genos, he does need a buff, but not to his healing output. He needs a buff where he is actually able to be a real support again. Because he was always intended to be more of a buffer than just a raw heal bot. But right now he only heals and has no buffs he can apply to his team, so he needs something like that. And then Rom, still one of the weakest tanks in the game because he does have a lot of weaknesses, although the last buff did help him out significantly. I'm waiting for Natazi to move! You took my Amani! Stop this! Um, hey, thank you. <laughs> Customize your and, champion. Yeah, but he's yeah, doing better than he was man. previously, and he's still functional if you know how to play him and you play him in the right comp. I think Geno should give me a damage amp again, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was really powerful at the time, and you would win duels not because of your superior healing output, but because you would out-damage the enemies. It was pretty overpowered, though, which is why it got removed, and I don't think that's quite the answer to fix Genos, but something similar, like, I don't know, a movement speed buff, jump pipe buff, something, I don't know. Stuff like that could be good. Don't forget to get tank items. Yep, I am aware. I will Everyone get armor plating, arcane, game. and veteran, because I'm cool like that. And actually, I'll get some unbound as well, because that's a lot of crowd control. And I'm going to play Mana Rift, because I'm really going to be focused on primary fire this match, and that means Mana Rift is simply the best option, because we get more fireballs. But uh, yeah, okay, so that's Grip, Genos, Solar Blessing. She's playing Pyromania with a real build. Actually, wait, what? Okay, that's interesting. So it's like a Frostbomb spam sort of weirdness. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Never mind. <laughs> I take it back. It's not a real build. Do Unbound Armor Plating. There we go. I'm sad that you can't be super amazing using Victor. He doesn't have much skill expression. Yeah, well, that is the point. I mean, he's meant to be the character that eases you into the game from other games, because he's very vanilla. And you can still be very good at him. I mean, controller players can make Victor work at the highest level of gameplay. Because, you know, aim assist and high DPS exists. But yeah, he's never going to be a skill expressive with someone like Amani, and that's okay. Like, people... Some people resent the fact that we have such simple characters in the game, like Victor and Vivian. But in Victor's case, I have absolutely no problem with it, because he serves a very specific purpose, and he does that quite literally perfectly. So, yeah. Ah, been rooted. Okay. Well, let's not get out Imanied by the other Imani. 
I'm just spamming. We're both just spamming, man. Boom! Huge damage. Let's go. I need to get my mana rift back. Someone else needs to capture the points. Ooh, nice. Alright. Wombo combo. Let's bur burst down that shield. Come on, he's so low. Alright, he's dead. No assists for me, though. Yikes. Alright, big root. And... Oh, I missed those follow-up shots like a dummy. Sometimes I'm just so bad at hitting the frost projectiles, and I have no idea why. Alright, mana rift there. Yo, let's do a dragon fight. I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, she got... Uh, Vora. Ooh. Out dragon the dragon! Yes! Kill you, and then I'm gonna cancel, because I know someone's coming after me. Oh, I'm crippled. Well, guess I'm dead anyways. Come on. Jiki, get out of there! What are you doing? Oh, man. Hard, hard staggered. I don't think we cap this point now. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get touch. Unfortunate. Hello, Root. Let's not do that. That was the wrong thing. I wanted the Frost Bomb. There. 800. Oh, goodbye, Makoa. Okay. Well, that's bad. I should probably move back here and just reset. 9.30. 9.30. 9.30, stop getting healed, man. Oh, boy. All right, let me throw this out. Hello. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, man, I almost killed her, but I just couldn't. They have too much damage. All focused on me. So far for this tank build, I'm not feeling super tanky, man. Huge Makoa ult, though, potentially? Or not? Alright. I'm gonna come up here and help Andrew out with his ult. There we go, I got there, Andrew. Let me throw a Frost Bomb out. Root. And let's get a Mana Rift right here. There we go. Oh, she got her ult before me. Okay, I've got my ult now. Uh, I'm probably not gonna use my ult, though. Because we can just destroy the dragon. Chunk it down. Just like that. Perfect. Oop, there she is. Nice, GP. Alright, I'm gonna root. And then GTFO. <laughs> I'm in such a bad position. Alright, here we go. Andrew? Why did I shoot that above the window? What's wrong with me? Okay. Just waste Inferno Cannon on that. Boom, root. Dead. I'm actually gonna switch back into Frost. Just get consistent damage on Khan. Walk at him! <sighs> yes. No! Oh, stop it! Oh, I missed that. There's 500, but yeah, she's gonna take out Andro. He was a bit far up. He did get Fury, though, so that's good. Ah. Let me get a Mana Rift real quick. While I'm rooted, I might as well anyways, right? Ah. Ooh, nice. Hey, there we go. Good kill. Alright. Void Gripped. I'll just do this real quick. Throw this out. Try and stop him from getting the points. Let's knock it beams. Uh. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to defend this pretty easily, I think. Khan's just dead. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I don't think their Imani has her ult, so I might be able to ult and just win. But at the same time, they could be able to easily fight me, so I don't know exactly what I want to do here. Uh, let's get Unbound 3. Just max that out, and then I'll go for some more armor plating veteran arcane. You know the deal. Mm. Mm. Finally, Imani getting some love. You using Mana Rift? I usually use Splitting Ice. Yeah, I'm using Mana Rift here. I'm playing a goofy build. I got uh, a donation to play... A maximum, maximum HP build. Five, so, four, yeah, we've got the health card, DR three, card, shield two, card. One. It's not a very conventional Imani build, and I don't have very many abilities, so I'm using Mana Rift to try and make up for my... Wow, okay, she does have Dragon. Yeah, I'm using Mana Rift to make up for my lack of, uh, yeah, abilities. Alright. I guess we're both just going to ignore each other and attack the others. Wow, I literally can't out damage a Furia Beam, this is so sad. What the heck, man? Why is that a thing? 
All right, well, boom, absolutely diffed. Let's throw the root out. Looks like we are managing to win. <laughs> Both dragons were totally useless, but my team was a better flank. Yay. Ah, uh, that root got stuck. Haha. -ha. Okay, let me throw this here. Boom. Andrew's trying to follow up on that. Looks like he was unsuccessful. Oh, oh my gosh. My Inferno Cannon was so slow. Oh, and I don't have reset on my Frostfire Glide. Oh, my positioning. But it doesn't matter, because they're too slow. Yes, let's go. The dragon doesn't apply caught, I assume. Yeah, it doesn't. So, it definitely is not capable of out healing or out damaging a healing ability that does 1750 healing per second. Like, the beam is just ludicrous. Which, it would be an insane buff to make the dragon apply Cauterize. But honestly, I don't think it needs it. I think the dragon is in a much uh, more comfortable spot, and honestly a pretty healthy spot now, that it works properly. Because it's really big, and it can potentially get a team wipe, especially in lower elo, when people don't know what they're doing. And if you use it with your team, then your teammate has the Cauterize Prime. So you have to be a bit smart with it. Rose Star 999. Cyrus Kyra one thing. I'm surprised you know. that the build is working so well. And it forces well. attention. Good job. Next training. <laughs> Max speed. Time to practice fireball Max flip shot. Max speed. Oh, how are we going to do that? I guess I got to use the new speed card, huh? Swift tier level 5? Question mark? <laughs> yes. Oh, huge root. He's really low. Hit that burst. There we go. I'm going to prank this Imani so hard by going to her ult spot and then ulting. <laughs> Hello, Stealthy. What the heck? Stop! This is Imani bullying right now. What is this, Garbo? Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm 1 HP. Grover. Oh, Grover. Thank you. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Alright. Well, I thought I was going to prank them, but in reality, I was the one who got pranked. This is so sad. Why is Beam Furia so good? Uh, helps that Rock Assault can apply caught and headshot. Yeah, but it also makes him stationary. And he doesn't have as much health as the dragon. The dragon has 6,000. Of course, the dragon does get significantly less powerful. Uh, you know, when... The enemies have bulldozers. Oh, she knew! The beam! Stop! Why? You know I can't apply cauterize. This is so dumb. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I think I'm officially on board with both the Dragon and Inferno Cannon applying Cauterize, and I've already been saying that about Inferno Cannon. It either needs a damage buff or the ability to apply Cauterize. Let's just let all of her abilities apply Cauterize, please, except Frost Bomb, because that would be silly. Gosh. I need... I just... I, 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 need, I need this character to do real damage. <laughs> I love her so much. She's so much fun, except when that happens. <laughs> Stupid beam. Stationary is no problem. He has that massive 10% DR during Hexafire. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, he's basically immortal during Rock Assault. Definitely never dies. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, well, both dragons are down, so I say we'd be a bit silly. We Frostfire Glide up here and say hello. Okay, hello and goodbye. Oh, crap. I'm dead. All right. She was actually out of range of the uh, Inferno Cannon there. So that really just didn't work out for me. And also, I was backing up. I accidentally ran into Fury, and so I just got stopped for a second. It was really strange. Okay. Uh, fireball. Bam! Fireball, bam! Wow, they just wiped two people? Okay. Let me throw that out. Yeah, we got a cap. We don't have Makoa ult, though. So he's going to struggle on point. We're going we're gonna to have to use Grover ult here soon, once they start to take some real damage. Uh... Oh my gosh, why is there a random beam there? Okay. And he got ulted away from the Grover beam, so... That sucks. Oops. I held right-click again. Ah, ba 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 
Okay, we just gotta stop peeking. I'm taking too much collateral damage right now. I got my dragon back. We just gotta defend. Oh, please. Oh, that hit me. Okay. Why does your Inferno Cannon do more damage than mine? What is this BS? <laughs> you have teammates, that's why. Of course you do. Jeez, I hate getting out imani by the Imani right now. It's supposed to be better than this. Let's get more veteran. She's bringing out ults. Okay. Well, I'll go here. There's pretty much nothing they can do to me from this side. Wow, never mind. He just knew. Okay. Great. I need Arcane Warding and Veteran. Actually, wait. How much How much damage does that do again? Because, yeah, I had 2,500 health. Am I not able to survive a Gen Assault with 2,500 health? Or am I stupid? I forget how much damage it does. It's like 2,450, right? Something like that. Oop. Wasted a mana ball. Bam, bam. Alright. 2k damage. Bam. I can actually barely see them because my own mana rift plus the death marker in my face. Okay, I'll throw this out. Why did that root absolutely no one? That looked like it at least would have rooted Genos, but it didn't. And that's GG. Okay. 26.50? All right. Thanks, so I guess I can't tank a Genos ult. That sucks. Oh, GG's, I guess. Wait, unless? Where did they all go? Hello? We actually beat them back? Okay. Ugh. Andro, please die. Yes, there we go. Good. Okay. Well, we have one shot to not lose. Let's make sure we don't squander it. Ow, please. Alright, mana rift. Boom, boom. Throw the root above the shield. Oh, don't root me. No, I'm stuck. I can't move. Please, stop. Okay. Uh, okay, please. Don't do this. I have my own dragon. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try and save it for the cap. Actually, no, I got to use it right now. There's a beam! Yeah, it's over. Okay. You mm. lost. That was so frustrating. Half the time I couldn't get a kill because I literally don't apply cauterize. Why does this character not apply cauterize, dude? It's so dumb. <sighs> ten kills, ten deaths. At least I didn't go negative, but I didn't go positive either. There, Amani just got the best of me. That's so sad. To be fair, though, I wasn't playing a very good build at the end of the day. I had no cooldown reset, and that really hurts Imani a lot. And my Inferno Cannon was also really slow. And they had a Beam Furia, who actually got out-healed by Genos somehow? He wasn't even playing Luminary? What? What were you doing, Furia? Getting kills, I guess. But she also got the damage. I'm so confused. Okay. Well, uh, let's... Wait, someone left the party. Jiki left the party. Okay, we have a space in the party then for someone who wants to join. Pantra, <clears throat> I love you. Don't worry, says Covered Tuba. I'm so mad. Because you just had a Beam Furia. <laughs> the, I, I don't think you saw just how many times I got screwed because Inferno Cannon and the Dragon don't apply Cauterize. And all you had to out damage was a Grover Blossom. <laughs> so sad. Alright, a Winzy. There you go. Alright, there we go. Alright, and I need to make a... Actually, I need to make a speed build next, don't I? I'm just going to tear apart this build because I don't like it at all. So what speed build can we make? Pyretic Momentum at level 5, I guess. Swift Seer. And then what other speed cards does she have? Does she have any? No, she doesn't. That's it. Okay, so that's the max speed we got. And then I need to find a way, I guess, to get cooldown reduction on the... Inferno Cannon, so we'll do Cooling Runes, and then we'll do Max Health, and, uh, I don't know, this? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is another one of those question mark builds for sure. Alright, let's go. Tuba is cracked on the Imani. Yeah, you did a good job. I'm so frustrated. I wanted to prove that I'm better, but I'm not. 
This is why I need to do a training stream. <laughs> uh, I have like... I have like the Eevee Syndrome going on with the Imani, where whenever I see an Imani player, I just want to 1-up her, because I know she's such a skillful character. But, unlike Eevee, I don't have that much experience on Imani, so I just, I can't win that. <laughs> so, yeah. Doesn't quite work out as well as it does on Eevee. Beware of the person named Imani needs R34. Legends say they're an Imani main. That sounds like fun. I would, uh... I would, I would 1v1 them, and probably lose, but it would be fun. Hmm. Hey, Monty. Well, uh, yay. Long queue. Hooray. I don't know what to say. One of those awkward moments. I'm gonna sip my coffee. They're cursed with bad teammates, it appears, though. Hmm. I had an Imani player ulting in front of the entire enemy team. Needless to say, he died. Yeah. Doesn't have enough experience as the guy who has all characters at level 50. Well, experience is relative, okay? And I can play Imani well. I can play most characters to a decent enough standard. Okay, who cancelled the queue? I can play most characters to a decent enough standard. But that doesn't make me an expert at them. And I have infinitely more experience on Eevee than I do Imani. And actually, if you look based on level... Uh, Imani is one of my lowest level characters. And that's because even though I like her a lot, she was just so buggy for the longest time, and so I just couldn't bring myself to play her. But now I can, so we're doing it. Hmm. Is Omen any good? No. No, he's not. <laughs> he's pretty bad, sadly. I have her at level 6. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess that is a bit lower. Hmm. She is starting to get higher than a few other characters, though. Like, I have played enough for her to level her up a little bit. Higher than Furia, Moji. I didn't realize she'd be higher than Moji. Terminus, Saris, Ray, Betty? Hmm. Sky. Nyx, still higher than Nyx, wow. I've definitely played a lot more Nyx than Imani in the past few years, but she is also one of the newest characters, so I guess she's still technically Siege. playing catch-up. Select your champion. Alright, Imani. Where are you? There you Imani. are. Customize your champion. If you get Ascension Peak, you need to reach that secret spot for the ults. I don't know how to do it, though. You, you've shown me it. Like, the actual place, but I don't know how to set it up. Alright, Star Sister, if you have the skin, yes, but which one do I do? I don't know. Splitstone Quarry. What matches Splitstone Quarry? Ah, stop! Uh, yellow, maybe? Yeah, that's probably the best one to use here. Kind of matches the sandy vibe a little bit. Star Sister Romani needs to chill with her eyebrows. Yeah, they're pretty dramatic. <laughs> Is she in a good spot nowadays? How does she defend her team? Uh, she's not really defense-minded, but she's pretty middle of the bunch, I would say. She's good if you know how to play her. Definitely a large skill requirement, Again. but she's not meta. Not close to meta at all, actually. I mean Inara? Oh, <laughs> classic mistake. Uh, she's on the lower-ish end of point tanks. But that's not because she's bad, it's just because proportionally other tanks are also very good right now. And she took a few nerfs a while back to her DR and her healing. So, the bad guys but she's still good if you know what to do with her. Kill? Good in the right situation. Gotta have a good healer for her, obviously. And, yeah, she can work. Most tanks are really good right now, so. Alright, uh, well what do we want to do for speed here? Low-key Pyromania sounds kind of fun for that, just that hit-and-run playstyle. Spamming fireballs, getting mana charged really quickly while being on the move. So we'll do that. We'll do this. And we'll get, I think, Kronos for more Inferno Cannons and Nimble. And then Swift Seer 5. Whee! <laughs> and then we go back in here. Actually, wait. If I'm using my Frost Bolts to reset Inferno Cannon... Then I should Five, probably use Splitting four, Ice, actually. Three, 
So let's do that. Big One. brain. Big brain moment. So it begins. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Maybe. Possibly. Let's try this out. Up, 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 up. Whee! Wow, he got so much healing. Okay. Oh. Oh, if I were a better Imani, I would have hit those shots. I have my Inferno Cannon back, though. Let's use it. Boom, there we go. I love Swift Seer 5. I really think they should buff the base speed of the Inferno Cannon. So that you're not so dependent on it. That would feel really good. Alright, up we go. Throw the root. Ah, uh, missed it a little bit. Stealthy's doing the thing! Stop it, Stealthy! Alright, let me fly back over here. We got another Inferno Cannon. That's actually a pretty good reset, to be honest. I like that. Oh boy. Oh boy, please, please, please. Okay. Hello, I'm really fast! <laughs> yes! Imani's actually a pretty decent counter to Eevee, too, if you know what you're doing. Because she has the root, she has 1k burst, she can fly as well, making her hard to hit. So that's pretty cool, as well, I would say. Boom. Uh, Frost Bomb does not work out for me. Please miss more shots. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. Alright. Just pop Inferno Cannon and do some damage. There's a kill. Boom. Root. Oop. Eevee's here. I'm gonna go up here and ult. And I know Eevee is somewhere. Oh, she backed up. Okay, perfect. I'll be fine then. Let's just go in with the dragon. The massive Golden Griffin. This is the real Golden Griffin that I stand. Not that ugly mount. Gross. Right, let's Frostfire Glide up here, and... Boom! Jettison across the sky. Look at that. That is fun. Ah! Okay. My sight fails me. We go up here. There we go. Destroyed! Root. Oh, she actually dodged it. She's won. Someone shoot her. Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Guys! Please! No! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Okay. Uh, let's get more Kronos, get more Nimble. There we go. We'll get some Lethality later. Trust me. Yeah, Mani now has Zoomies. Honestly, I like this build a lot better than the previous build. It's just fun. Actually, why don't I switch? I want to throw a bomb in there. Okay, that was pointless. 1k burst! Oh, I missed that. Good job, Connor. Okay. Uh, up and over. I wasn't paying enough attention. Let's root. Oh, hello. I didn't know you could move in that ability. Okay. Fire! He's so low. Oh my gosh, she got the ult off. Okay. Throw the roots up and there we go. Over. Nice. Oh, I can't hit him, man. Go back into Frost Stance and try and get our Inferno Cannon back. Here's this. Hello. Ah, what, what, what? Okay. Thank you, Corvus, for killing him. Ah. I'm seeing so many Sacrifice IO users as Souls Force recently. Yeah. I guess it's the same idea as the Selfish Grover build I published today, where... Yeah, you just try and stay alive as much as possible. And you don't necessarily have the highest ability to support your team, but because you're alive, you're ending up doing more than if you're dead. <coughs> if you could create a new champion, who or what would it be? Eevee but sexy, says Claymeister. Uh, so basically just normal Eevee then? Confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get Nimble 3. There we go. That's gonna feel really nice. I am balancing. I don't have really seconds. any new champion ideas at the moment, though, because I'm of the opinion that the game doesn't need new champions. Like we already have so many. A lot of champions need help, and I just want you know more balance in that direction right now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, like 
I guess we need one more champion, they'd be a support, but I don't really have support ideas, so. Hello! Ah! Alright, I'm not able to hit that root. That's okay, though. Ah, please. Curame. Gracias. Okay. Uh, looks like we're good. There's a root. Inferno Cannon! Yes! Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna fly back around here and pop my ult. There we go. Over the wall. Io! Alright, you know what? She's just hiding from me. I'm just gonna cancel it. <laughs> oh boy. Looks like she did not, in fact, go that way after all. I'm just gonna have Inferno Cannon ready to go. Blaze down that willow. Perfect. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting kills. That's what you're doing. Okay, well played. Throw that out. Uh, bam, hit that 1k. Inferno Cannon. Nice kill, Vatu. Okay. He's so low. I want to kill him with the Frost Bolts. Oh, I hit Willow. Okay, well, I don't kill him, but at least we cap. That's good. I want to get better at using the Frost Bolts, because clearly I suck at them, and I'm not doing a very good job. Duh. Everyone's playing Sacrifice I.O. because of Mewtwo. I've heard Mewtwo playing a bunch of weird stuff these days. Oh, Mewtwo's playing a goofy uh, IO build. Mewtwo's playing Imani. Mewtwo's playing Bubba. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. When you've already mastered the good stuff, play the weird stuff. Ah, uh, there's that. What are you doing, Stealthy? <laughs> I know you can dive me better than that. Come on. Ah. Uh. I know I can hit Frost Bolts better than that. What am I doing? There we go. Root him in place. So that way I can hit him better. There we go. Got the kill. Yes. Cerberus champion that has like three different forms. That sounds crazy. Seven has three fire modes, which did not work out. Yeah. You gotta be careful with the multimodal characters. Because a lot of them have really been one-sided in terms of their modes. And honestly, Imani is probably the best execution of a multimodal character that we have. Because you have a good reason to use both her Fire and Frost Stance. And historically, the only lopsided thing has been that the Fireballs are usually better than the Frost Bolts. But if you want consistent DPS and the Frost Bolts are still, I would say, a good option versus just like tanks or whatever. And then Frost Bomb is obviously an excellent ability, so there's still a reason to go into the Frost Stance just for that. But yeah, like, Koga's really struggled on that until recently after the claw buff. Uh, Strix is technically multimodal, although you never usually want to use the pistol stance. Unless you, like, run out of ammo or something. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I got the flicks. <laughs> yes. Is that the flick shot you wanted to see, Rose Star? I hope so. Uh, okay. Pop around here. Shalin. Ah, I'm too fast for my own good. No. And we're actually all dead. Makoa gets the Fernando before dying. But with nine seconds left, we don't have enough time to regroup. So, looks like they defend. Mm. Imani is complicated enough for most players, and she's got that flow. Koga has had problems with his mode since release. Kinesis SMG is an afterthought. Kinesis is not even a modal switch character. Like, a stance switcher. She just has, you know, a unique primary, I guess. Like, a, a proper stance switcher is someone like Amani or Koga, who literally has different abilities when they press the switch button. Paladin says best with simpler designs. Yeah, it does. Some complicated designs can work, or like complicated passives, for example. Like, Vora's a good example. She has a passive that, you know, is reasonably complex. It does multiple things. It augments her abilities. But she still works very well in the context of Paladins. But then you have someone like Lilith, who just is like the definition of a bloated kit. And... yeah, she's goofy. Stealthy, where are you going? Stealthy, you know I can hit you, right? 
Oh, uh, if that wall wasn't in the way, stealthy. Oop. <laughs> Accidental roots on Eevee. All right. All right, Shaolin, it's time to die. There we go. Hello. What are you doing, stealthy, please? All right, there's that. Just going to play it safe down here for a moment. Oh, I missed that. It's a good thing she can't hit her shots. Thank you, Vatu. Okay, let me come in here. Oh, hello. Okay. I need to heal up. And I need to ult from a good position. I'm going to ult right here. And I know that they know exactly where I am. I'm counting on it. Oh, I can drag him through the window, but I don't do enough damage. Okay, well, it was a good idea, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, crap. All right. Let's get Chronos 3. Let's get some lethality now to play more into the speed. We got Shaolin behind us. He is beating our Makoa to a pulp right now. Stop it. Rooted. There you go, Makoa. Please be careful. Okay, you've got healing. I don't appreciate that. I don't approve of it either. Please stop. No, I'm dead. Everyone's dead on my team, so I have no help. We're staggering in. We lose that objective. Man. Lilith has so many numbers on paper that should make her top of the meta, and she is strong, but somehow outclassed by two supports. Yeah, and she's, in some cases, she's not even outclassed by those supports. She's just hard to play and very clunky, so, you know, people don't like playing her. Yeah, please. I got the mark. Let me rush in and do some damage to you. Alright, Stealthy, please. You gotta stop this. There you go. Hit that. Dead. Oh, but she still takes Tiberius with her. Okay. Oof. I need healing. He's coming around. I hear him. All right, thank you, Corvus. Inferno Cannon, go! Cut through that armor plating like butter. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's just get a root out there real quick. I spy with my little eye an Eevee. I think... Where is she going? Oh, I hit that! Come back here! No! Wait, can that hit her? No. Okay. Man, she was actually one. That's so sad. Alright, I'll try and get my... Inferno Cannon back. Root here. Wabam. Inferno Cannon. Dead. There we go. Hey, thank you. Congratulations, you have reached training level 3. Time Yay. to max out Frost Bomb. Your objective Ooh, okay. is to tie down as many enemies and cause maximum collateral damage as possible. Heck yeah. Force them to buy items to counter you. I... I... What did he say? I have complete faith you can do it. Okay, thank you. Well, we'll do that next match then. Stealthy, what are you doing? I'm so perplexed! Stop it! This is too silly. Dang, he got obliterated. Jeez. Look at that movement speed and lethality, man. That feels good. I really hope they buff that to five seconds in the next update. Just make it the same duration as all the other items. That would be so good. Stealthy. Stealthy! <laughs> She's getting really greedy for me. Jeez. Damba right-click, heals. Lilith right-click, applies. Insert a thesis paper here, please. Yep. And then with cards, Mal Maldamba is able to apply a movement speed buff. He can technically heal himself, although nobody really uses that card. And he can apply a DR to himself. But that's all very easy to understand. You apply the right-click, you get the buffs. Meanwhile, with Lilith Hex. Okay, if I apply the heal to my teammates... I heal them, and then I give myself blood health, and then with a card, I can give them a movement speed buff, but then I can apply it to an enemy, and I'll reveal the enemy to myself, and I'll do damage to them proportional to their health, but kind of an inverse proportion, where I do more damage to them the more health they have, so I can never kill them with the hex, and also if I shoot them with the hex, I'm able to uh, get my ammo back. And then also with a card, I can heal myself with a weird form of life steal. And then the hex will also heal me, but at a lower base rate than the normal hex that I applied to my teammates. 
<sighs> and if I apply the hex to an enemy, I will be able to reveal them to my team as well, but only if I use the card, otherwise it's just a self-reveal. <coughs> Is that it? Did I forget anything? Whew. I'm out of breath, man. <laughs> that's too much! And that's one ability, we haven't even talked about the swarm. Which also applies certain aspects of the hex, but not others. Oh my god. It's too crazy. Rooted! Haha! Uh -huh. No funny business for you. Ah, thank you for the heal. Alright, let's do the ult. Now that Eevee's not here, this should be completely safe. So, let's go for it. Except... Wait a minute. Hello! <laughs> I'm on to your tricks! Haha! <laughs> okay, and I hear Eevee somewhere. Okay, she's on point. Which means we can kill her. There we go. Huge dragon gets three. And also gets us the victory. I don't think they have a chance of touching. I'll go up here and throw a root back there just to be sure. But yeah, that's GG. Nice. Let's go. Oh, hello, Willow. <laughs> Welcome to the objective. Nice. I think you should call the Inferno Cannon the Zoomy Cannon. With Swift Seer level 5, yes, it's the Zoomy Cannon. Well, 26 kills there, 7 deaths. That worked much better than the previous build. And I'm happy to see it. Alright, let's make the next build. Where is Imani? There she is. I reset my thing. Let me sort by name. There we go. Imani. Okay. Um, so I need to make a Frost Bomb build. So we'll do Heat Sink. And we'll do... I guess I'll try the Projectile Speed Out. Seems interesting. And then what else can I do? I could do even more cooldown reduction, because I don't need to use Swifts here. Um, that would be interesting. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. So just all cooldown reduction on the Frost Bomb. And then we'll do max health and... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Eh, Swift Seer level 1, I guess. Uh, sure. Gaming. Question mark build. There we go. Let's go. Q. Wait, we lost someone. Why do we keep losing people? Who even left? I'm confused. Well, there's a space in the party for anyone who wants to join then. You didn't let me perform the rollout? I didn't know you were doing a rollout. Oh, Connor needs an invite. Right. Oh, uh, wait. It's not Connor 03, like what I'm reading in the Twitch chat. It's Connor Gao 03. There we go. There. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, and let's queue. If Torf shields Imani while ulting, does her dragon get a damage increase? I don't think so. Because the dragon. Siege. Doesn't benefit from a lot of things. Like it doesn't benefit from Furia ult. It doesn't benefit champion. from items. Customize. I think you can champion. technically still like uh, envelop the dragon or something. I thought I heard you could do that one time, but yeah, it's pretty much it's a weird deployable. It's yeah, you can basically kind of treat it like a giant uh, barrack turret. And what affects Barrack Turrets affects the dragon. It's like, you can't heal it either, obviously. Alright, well, Omega Dragon. We got a Corvus Pocket again. We got Grover, Maeve, Makoa. Alrighty. Damage Grover, actually. That's spicy. Alright. Well. Let's see. Any cultured champions on the enemy team? Any Eevees? Any Imanis? Bob. Pip Androxus Kasumi. Andro Kasumi? Ew. Gross. Can you show the build you used in the game you just did? I want to take a screenshot of it. Uh, you can find the build, or any build you want, by going to the Discord server, and then you can use the, uh, the bots to look up any build for any character from any player. So... Yeah, I would recommend going there if you want to find it, because I can't show it to you right now. Or I guess I could briefly show it to you, but that's a good way in the future. If you want to find a build, just go there. It, it's actually, it's not even a real build that I used. <laughs> I made it for a silly challenge. Normally I don't use that build at all. 
What are we waiting on? Fernando, I think. Master writing to get to the enemy and stun faster? Oh boy. I'm just gonna rush Kronos as fast as possible. I like Azumi, though. I do have a Azumi build. Come on, load! I wanna show the build. <sighs> yeah, the dragon is a different entity from Amani. That is how it works. It's a uh, deployable. You guys like my Sonic shirt? Yeah, look at this dude. <laughs> ah, come on, Fernando. You have ten minutes before there we this go. becomes a complete waste of Finally. time. Finally. Okay. This time I will play Pyromania because I want to see if I can get double cooldown reduction. I don't actually know if that's a thing. But... Dealing damage with the Pyroball reduces the cooldown of Frostbomb by 4 seconds. I guess given the wording, it probably doesn't matter how much damage I do. So if I hit multiple people, it probably won't proc twice. But I'd, I'm just curious to see if it works like that, because I've never tested it. And yeah, we grab Kronos. So yeah, we do this. We switch. And then we hit one Fireball, and if it instantly gives us the Frostbomb back because we hit two people, then we switch back and we do a, another Frostbomb. But otherwise, we hit two Fireballs, switch back, we have another Frostbomb. So... Yeah, should be cool, I guess. Five, four, yeah, the AoE three, does apply item effects, so I guess that like, technically makes sense. The battle has begun. But first and foremost, we need Kronos, because we've been tasked with spamming the Frostbomb. So, here we go. Frostbomb! Wow, nobody was over there. Okay, I guess I'll cry, and then die. And that's a bot on the point. Okay. Oh, there's a frost bomb, rooted and dead. Trying to hit some fireballs. Hit another root. Well, bam! Stop that poppy bomb in place. Somehow we're actually losing to a bot Fernando right now, though. That's embarrassing. What are we doing? <laughs> uh. Oh, let me go up here. Do a quick one of these. I oh, was so low, but I'm not able to kill him. Big sad. Boom. What? Why did that not hit him? That was clearly right on top of his face. What on earth? Okay, we'll I have another one. And then throw that back. All right, thank you for that heal. Do a brief Inferno Cannon for some damage. Have a Frost Bomb here in a sec. Can go ahead and throw that out. Boom. Fireball. Fireball. Oh, that just hit on the reversal. Okay, fair enough. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Wow, that AoE is huge. Come up here and just Inferno Cannon into this room. Oh, she's fine. Root. Boom. Uh, oh, this could potentially be bad. I'll throw this out. So low. Oh, but the potion. No. All right, there we go. Got them. Root. Oh, I actually would have had that Kasumi, but Androx has just ruined me. Okay, get more Kronos. Tank diff, Nandobot OP. Yeah, Nandobot's just better. He's built different. Okay, there we go. It looks like we got it. Good. That would be really embarrassing if we lost that. To an accelerant BK as well. The audacity. Okay, good kill on Kasumi there. Throw this here. Boom. Wow, that was a potion! That was so much healing. Okay. Dude, there's no way. Full Inferno Cannon dumped into Androxus does not kill him. What on earth is this? Buff Inferno Cannon. Buff Inferno Cannon, please, Evil Mojo. This is stupid. He should have died. That is ridiculous. Getting scammed like crazy. Okay. Oh, and I'm dead. Ah! He didn't even get healed. That was just raw Inferno Cannon damage, not being enough to even kill one person. It's so bad. It's such a bad ability, man. Alright. Take this root and go away. And then take that. Alright, I'm not sticking around. Goodbye. 
Let me throw this up here. Throw a root in there as well. Alright, no damage on that. I missed. I missed that too. I missed that too! Please! Root does not hit. Oh my gosh, the Fernando is actually ulting. No way. Okay, I have an idea. I'll do this right here. And then play in this room. Where was BK? What? Where was BK? Huh? Okay. I might actually have to try now. I didn't even see him, and when I died, it looked like he was all the way over in this direction, so I have no idea how he actually hit me up there. It's weird. Here, take this. Haha. -ha. 500 damage, haha. -ha. 500 damage, haha. -ha. Have another root. Uh, alright. And have another root. That reset is actually pretty crazy. All right, there's that. Have another root. Okay, let's wait. Build my item and have another root. <laughs> and throw that up there. And here's a root. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I like that. Hello, friend. Hey, do you like roots? I hope you do. Nice, Makoa. All right, let me go for this. All right, don't get hit by the reversal. I'm just dead, we failed the push, okay. Fernando's still not back, but they're doing a surprisingly good job of actually defending. Did he snipe you? He must have sniped me or something. I didn't think he could see me from that angle, but I guess he could somehow, I don't know. Just attached a sticky bomb to the very ends of my hair. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can't believe the bot Nando actually ulted for the BK. I hate this guy. Yeah, he's playing better than some humans I've seen. He goes to point. He uses a shield. Even plays aggressively a little bit. Presses ultimate when it's needed. What a legend. Okay, let's go. I'll pop around here again and throw out the Frost Bomb. All right, well, I hit one person. Let's not get stuck by that. Okay, friend. Uh, come on, man. Inferno Cannon, do anything! Uh, you know what? I'm glad I'm using a Frost Bomb base build because that ability actually does something. You know, that, that ability is actually good. Here, take this. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Frost Bomb! I did 300 damage to a Kasumi Spirit Trap, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm bringing out ult, but we got a touch. There you go, good. There we go, help incinerate that Kasumi. I hear Androxus over here. There he is. There we go, got him. Huge damage. And there's no BK back here to kill me this time. But, that's going to conclude our dragon for today. Okay. Let me Frostfire Glide in, and Inferno Cannon. There we go. Hey, that helps. All right, let me go back to Fireballs. Hit that. Real quick. Root. There we go. Oh, he died. Nice. Good shot, Grover. Oh, that's an immortal BK ult! <laughs> ah! Okay. Fernando, you're crazy. There we go, I got him. Let's throw that back. Well, bam. Throw that. The reset is actually kind of filthy, man. Uh, I need to hit one person, please. Although I get my switch from my elemental shift as well. That's so nice. All right, there we go, gotcha. Ugh. PK. You still up there? Okay, that was kind of bad. I forgot that doesn't go through shields. I'm stupid. There we go. I killed the bot. Let me root you. That was mean. Alright, throw that. Uh, trying to hit the AoE just to get a second proc. I don't even need it. I just have another root. There's that. 
Uh, I have another root! Oh my gosh! Uh, throw that up there. Try and hit somebody. Boom. I have another root. Jeez. Oh, what a hook! That was crazy. Alright, boom. Uh, don't stun me. No, that's still stun me. No, I'm a chicken. Oh my god. Okay, let's get some more bounce. You ever get the Imani FPS bug? Yeah, I get that. I get that with Shaw. It's just very subtle because I do have a 4090, so I'm not exactly hurting for processing power. Alright. Fireball. For the root. Okay, he ran away. Fernando's back now. He's a human. Unbelievable. Well, let's root the human. Oh, I got stunned again. Stop it. Who's behind us? Oh, this guy's behind us. Oh. Inferno Cannon. Put this up here, just in case it helps. Looks like it didn't, though. That's okay, because I got another one. What on earth is this reset build? Andrew's popping off, though. Got a triple kill. That's bad. That means we're going to fail this defense. Unfortunate. Isn't it not a bot, though? Has the BP icon? Well, he's back now. That's the thing. But, uh... Yeah, he was a bot for... The first two rounds of this game. And you could tell very easily because he had no title. Although I still have never understood why... They didn't... Enable the disconnect icon for the enemy team. Because you can see when your teammates disconnect easily, because they have the icon, but you don't have that for the enemies. It just makes things more convoluted. And uh, people still know when the enemies have a bot, because they can tell by how they play. And they can tell because of design quirks of this game, such as the title disappearing when someone disconnects. I don't know why they just don't make it easier. Rosestar 999 donated icon. $1 for your final test. Play oh any build you want, but get the most <laughs> kills and damage in the lobby. If you pull okay. this off, I will grant you the title of Amani Jank Master. Cool. Prove your worth, my student. Well, that'll be difficult, but I'll try. Uh, Rostar, what if I get top damage and top kills this match? That would be pretty cool. Uh, no, Fernando! Oh, he actually ulted for that. The good news is, though, they don't have ult for my dragon now, so I can potentially roll it. Although they do have bulldozer for my dragon. Rare bulldozer moments. That's pretty cool. And Andro's dead, meaning the only quote-unquote flank I have to worry about is Bomb King. And if we can take him out right here, then I have a free dragon. No way! He actually wins that 1v1? I lagged, too, when that Grumpy Bomb got thrown. Man. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just don't touch the objective. That BK actually made so much space single-handedly. He pushed back like three of us. Why do we let that happen? Here's a root. Not that it matters. And that went into the reversal. And he hit that. Okay. I'll well, we'll throw this here. Boom. Root Kasumi in place. Okay. You need to slow your roll there, buddy. Uh, there's the double kill. Please don't kill me. No, he actually got that. Man. I need some survivability. Unbound three. I'll get some armor plating now. I'm too squishy. Then you can end stream and play a real man's game like Cactus McCoy. Ah, true. Alright, let's throw this just back here randomly. I think I arced that a little bit too low. It's okay, we have another route. Wow. It's okay, we have another root. Bam. Alright. Let me go here. Pop ult. And I know that they know exactly where I am. Once again, we're counting on it. Ah. Yeah, BK is coming up here. There he is. Oh, wow, they're so grouped. Double kill. Fernando Walt was too late, and so he wasted it. And I got huge value. That's awesome. For this. Boom. Dead. 
Thank you so much for that shield. Oh my gosh. Huge Makoa shield. Root. Bam. Try and snipe that over the shield. It failed. Uh, Alright, another root. Boom. Oh, that didn't actually hit. Okay, there's that. We can get another one. Boom. Uh, no damage out of that. Oh, crap. Oh, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh! Ah! 1700 damage reversal. Ugh. Get some more armor plating. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's get roots. Boom. Sniped. Let's go. Actual pyromania value for once. That's not going to hit. But still dead. We should definitely defend here. Try and get as much ultimate charge as I can so we can ult as soon as possible. Uh, bam. 87. 89. Yes. What was that Grover doing? I don't know. I wasn't seeing him. This Andro and BK are actually kind of good despite the BK throw talent. Yeah. Well, you can be a good BK. Play a silly build and still do good. I am proof of that. And... Yeah, he's going for silly jolt. Backdraft. How is this music? Music. Not a lot of cooldown reduction on the Grumpy Bomb. Still getting a lot of Grumpy Bombs regardless. But yes, I've Chronos as well, so... I mean, you can definitely do good with that. Maybe not as good as something like Royal Subjects, but, you know, it's still there. Root! Alright, I hit the shield. Uh, 400 damage fireball, that feels so bad. Oh, he was in the hallway. Thank goodness he missed that. I'm literally 28 HP. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, I know Andro's behind. I was trying to help with him. I dealt with the BK. I did do some damage to Andro. Okay. I'm gonna pull over here and ult. I'm pretty sure they know exactly where I am, but I can see all of them right now. I just have to keep an eye on that bomb game. Oh, I heard him exploding bombs. I thought he was on me. Okay, I wasted Dragon. But I got Fernando Waltz out of him at the same time, though, so that's probably worth it. 600. Roots. Oh, I fed that reversal, actually. Hold on. Huge damage. He's super low. Roots. Alright, good job. There's a little bit of damage. I can switch and throw another one of these. Boom, boom, root. Boom, boom, root. And hopefully they don't touch. Oh, I'm a chicken. Wait. Oh, okay, they're still on it. They're still on it. Can't hit him. Root misses. Grover's clutching up on the kills right now, though. But we don't have touch. Ah, we just didn't have enough people out there. Man, that's so sad. That overtime ticked down really fast, too. Man. Well, GG's. That was close. I got top kills and top damage. Well, I didn't get top kills on the whole lobby, though. I got top kills on my team. BK and Andrew just outkilled me. So sad. I feel like we really could have won that, but we... I guess at the end of the day, we're lacking on damage compared to the enemy team. They had two really good damage characters. We only had one. Well, one and a half. Maeve was getting kills, although she barely did damage. 44,000. And, you know, they had to buff Fernando for the first half of that game, but they did really hold on to that tightly. So, kudos to them, I suppose. Our team did not do well enough. Let's reset the party now. If you want to join, say a name in the chat. I will invite. And we will do some more Imani gaming. I feel like I've lost most of the games today. Yeah, I've lost three out of four games today. We need to turn this around. Stealthy 8. Rudy X90. Uh, Dark Wolf Steel. And. Swizewalaki? What does that mean? 
Uh, that didn't even type in properly. Hold on. Oh, there's a second Z there. Ah, that's so hard to type. Okay, there you go. I'm rooting for you on final test. Yes. <clears throat> Imani. I don't know what build I'll do, though. I mean, that root build was kind of funny. But at the same time, I am just used to the classic playstyle that looks like this. There is the HP build, which might grant us a greater chance of success. I don't really know. There you go, German announcer. But I am, I am very impressed with the efficacy of this build, though. I mean, we really got... A Siege. lot of value out of that frost bomb. It was Select impressive how champion. much time I had. Customize but I think I'll just keep it champion. classic. Email. I'll do the normal build, the normal playstyle, because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And at the end of the day, I think what I'm most comfortable with will net me the most kills. So yeah, top kills and damage in the lobby. We got close last match. As long as I do well this match, we should have it. I'm trying to learn BK. I may not be the best. That's okay. Default horse. There you go. And yeah, it's Bright Marsh, so this looks like it'll be a pretty good map for us to win on. I just really hope they don't have super crazy damage champions on their time? team. Uh, Corvus pocketed Zin Talos. That does seem kind of disgusting. But I might still be able to do some good work here. I don't know. We'll see. Eh, level 6 Talos, level 12 Zin. Based on their levels, it looks like we might have gotten goofy matchmaking. Which means I might be able to make the stats screen look pretty good. But also, <laughs> it wouldn't be that impressive if they are genuinely new players. We might have gotten matchmaking diff here, I don't know. I hope they're smurfs. A Cosmic Imani skin would have been super cool. Yeah, the effects would have been nice. I'd be down for that. Mm. Okay. What are we waiting on? Zin? Not loading in? Okay. I hope we didn't crash again. I feel like we've had a lot of bots today. At different points in the matches. A lot of crashes. You know? Hmm. Let me check the Steam charts. How are we doing on the player base today? It's Friday. They there should be a good amount of people them. on. They're too stupid. Yeah, 5,200 on an hour ago. Not bad for this time of day. <laughs> and the average player count keeps going up. It's at 4,000 now. It was at 3,999 for April 2024. We just barely weren't as bad as December 2022 after all. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Well, uh, do I want Mana Rift or Splitting Ice? Probably Splitting Ice. I plan on being on the move. We'll do that. We'll do the main cooldown build. And, yeah, I'll do Armor Plating. And I think a bit of Nimble to keep me slippery. I have some problems with Paladins last game. More lags and bugs. Yeah, and the Fernando crash. And, yeah, Zin took a long time to load. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's go. Let's see what we can do here. I need to get top kills and top damage. So, uh... all right, not too many people over here, but we can throw the root out, and that's first blood. I have another frostfire glide, though I don't need it, and we can take out the Zin. Oh, uh, not a kill for me. A little bit of damage over there. Boom. Stealthy, I need this kill. Stealthy, I need this kill. Stealthy! Oh, I didn't even get the assist! No, that's so bad for my stats. I don't know why I didn't get the assist either. I literally rooted Talos in place. Okay. Pop up here. Go around. Damage. A root. Doesn't hit. That's okay. Oh, poor Grover. He just got walked at, man. Oh, yikes. She's still going after me, too. Jeez. Okay. Let's get some nimble. We need to regroup. We got some good kills at the start. Oh, Stealthy, get that Corvus. No. That's bad. Alright. I'm gonna go up here and just throw out an Inferno Cannon. Wow! 
Ah, oh, that was so much damage. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to hold them back a little bit. I didn't think I'd get smoked like that. Okay. Uh, can we touch, guys? Capture, Capture the objective? objective. Good. Wait. I thought Fernando was going for it. He didn't. Guys. This is disappointing. Right, well, Inferno Cannon will take you out. I don't have my Frostfire Glide back in time, so I'm dead again. Wow. So it looks like they were, in fact, Smurfs. <laughs> These are not new players. The levels were deceiving us. Yikes. Andrew plays just for the stats. Haha, <laughs> very funny. No, I'm getting a challenge to get top kills and top damage, so I have to actually focus on that. Boom, there we go. There's another one. Inferno Cannon is getting very good value this match. That's nice. I think we are on track to get top kills, top damage here. If we just keep playing like this. Oh, if I could have gotten that kill. At least I get that one. Nara's back there. Multiple of them back here, actually. Let me throw that root. Get the kill. Okay, she walled us off for now. That's okay. He's going to point. Goober. Alright, I'll take that kill. Just gotta clean it up. Uh, let's see. I'll try and go back here and... Inferno Cannon you. And then I'm gonna ult. Just because I feel like it. I wanna be funny. Alright, and Zin's gonna be coming up here any moment now, I think. Oh, there's Talus. There's the Zin. Okay. Uh, they're doing a good job of running away from the dragon, and it looks like I'm not able to get the Corvus, though I do do a lot of damage with the dragon. So that'll help pat my damage stat, at least. Uh, there we go, there's another kill. Root, Vix, dead, though. Okay. Oh, poor BK, man. Oh, well. Oh, Corvus pocket. No, 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 no. Oh, he actually killed me. That Corvus pocket is disgusting. Get more armor plating. He's taking his final exam. Yeah, exactly. I'm taking the final exam. I have to focus. Wow, Fernando ult right now. Ten seconds left just to save Eevee. I don't think that was worth it. As much as I love Eevee, I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> Alright. Cross bomb. On Inara. I'm up too far. Okay, he's not pushing around that side anymore. Let's make sure we use the Inferno Cannon for damage. Throw the root. Let that overtime counter tick down. Nice kill. Boom. Dead. Let me get that kill. No. Okay. You stealthy got it. Okay, so I'm 16 and 4. Stealthy's on a 13 streak, though. I'm actually kind of fighting with Stealthy right now to get top kills. <laughs> She's trying to make me lose this challenge. She's definitely not going to beat me on damage. I'm not concerned about that. Because Imani does out-damage EP. I just need to get those kill confirms, man. So many kill confirms. I'm close to another dragon. I might do it aggressively in their back line. Let's try and surprise them. We'll see. Let's get more nimble. My game is being bad. It's not performing well. Oh, man. Power this moment. Alright, let's go. I think I'll go up top again, because that Inferno Cannon seemed to work out pretty well last round. Yeah, I'll just fly up here. Eevee's going up here too. Wow, Talos just is actually able to outdamage me. Oh, he's going for Eevee. I can snipe that kill though, yes! Let's go! Uh, give me that killing blow! I actually kind of didn't deserve that for those last few missed shots, but I'll take it anyways. Alright, and let's bring out the dragon. There we go. Hey, buddy. He's just hiding in that room. <laughs> this dragon is not getting kills, it's just getting damage. That's okay. Gotcha. Let's go to the root here. Wow, he was actually able to get away. Why was he allowed to teleport even though I rooted him? He doesn't have Unbound, that's weird. I guess maybe he ran out of time on the timer? 
I might actually I don't have know. to try now. Anyways, uh, what do I want? I want morale boost. I want ult more. And I'm going to wait for morale boost too. Just like that. All right, and let's go. I love Amani's attacks and abilities. They look so cool and smooth. Yeah, they really are cool. And this skin in particular, the Frost Bomb effect reminds me of the Artificer from Risk of Rain 2. And the Artificer's explosion thingy. Very similar VFX, and that's a bonus in my opinion. Alright, snipe that through, get that kill. That's Inferno Cannon. Not really big damage on Imani. The Prenar, though. Uh, okay. And she's dead. Ooh, 860 on Talus. I'm chasing that. Boom. No, she stole both of those kills. We both died, too. Crap. Well, uh, that's bad for my chances of getting top kills in the lobby. Uh, need to get back out there. Ooh, come on, BK. That Blossom missed? Okay. Well, there's that. No, Stealthy stole that again. I can't let Stealthy get these kills. She's actually going to outkill me. Ah! Ah! Oh, he's so low. No, I didn't get the killing blow. Bad. Oh, wow, my entire team is going to die. Oh, we pushed it through anyways. Wow, look at that. All right, I'll just clean up a kill just for the stats. I can't use my abilities. What? Okay, there we go. Oh, phew. Yeah. Yeah. Artificer is natural? I don't know what that means. But, uh... Yeah, she also has the fireballs. Artificer has fireballs. She can also fly. Artificer can fly, even if their flight is a little bit different. It's actually a very apt comparison. And, fun fact, I made Artificer in Risk of Rain 2, so... Yeah. I'm gonna dismount, bounce, and blink above that bridge with momentum, or attempt. Okay, Stealthy, I'm watching you. Pay very close attention to Stealthy, chat. No pressure. And you failed! <laughs> Great job! Okay, let's fly around this side this time. I'm getting roasted, but I do get that kill. Let's throw the root out. There's the double kill. Oh, he's going for me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm not able to survive that. At least I got two. That's good. As long as Stealthy doesn't get three. Oop. No, she got two as well. We're tied. If Stealthy actually outkills me this match, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I need to pass my Imani test. That means getting top kills. Inferno Cannon. Uh, oh, I'm up too far. Too much damage. Okay, we need to reset. Yeah, just die. Don't get staggered. Fernando, just let it happen. You're only letting yourself get staggered, man. What are you doing? Okay. Frost Bomb. 800 damage. Uh... Actually, Vix really far up. There's a fireball. There's a fireball. Holy crap, what is all that damage? Dang, Talus does so much damage. Disgusting. Evie's trying to make it work. She gets the kill on Corvus. Alright, good. Talus is dead. Stay alive, stay alive. If you can build that Fernando ult, that'd be great. But it looks like he's going to die before he gets a chance. Unless... Rover ult, huge. Saves the day. There's the killing blow. There's the killing blow, two, kill, two kills to finish it off. All right, moment of truth. Did I get top kills and top damage in the lobby? I'm literally only competing with stealth right now. <laughs> Will I be able to do it? <clears throat> Come on. For glory. Uh, oh, yes. I did it. By three. By three kills. Those last two kills meant a lot. <laughs> They gave me a buffer. That was actually way closer than it had to be. <laughs> ah! Okay, I did it, Rose Star. Are you proud of me? I passed my test. I am a certified Imani player now. <laughs> yes! Let's go. All right. Well, uh... Also, hold on. Vic Diff? That's the pot calling the kettle black right there. You both got six kills. You did less damage. 
Okay. You both are practically the same. I, I, I think Zin is the only one who has the right to call Diff here. I'm just gonna say it. Alright, let's queue again and keep it going. We do have an hour left in the stream here before I do have to go and do the other thing I have to do today, so... Yeah, let's just keep playing some Imani. Siege. Please help me manifest essentially. Select well, we got a bad champion. map instead. I'm sorry. Customize your champion. Yeah. Tilda forklift. Tilda, I meant dragon certified. Tilda, I meant, uh, or Tilda forklift. Tilda. Yeah, that's that's my favorite certification right there. Tildos are very important. Uh. What do I want to do here? I might go back to the Frostbomb spam playstyle, actually, on this map. I want to see how it does. Because spamming fireballs will be really good for me on this map. It's a long-range map. And I, I kind of feel like the build has potential to be good. I want to try it. Because it was really cool seeing all that reset last... Or the match before, you know? <laughs> Dildos are very important. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Very high level Willow main over there. But counterbalanced with a very low level Atlas player. So, this, becomes a complete this will be an interesting in match. Time. I'm going to try the build with uh, Mana Rift this time because I feel like it'll be good on this map to have <laughs> higher damage fireballs and also be able to spam. Alright. Thank God for the mute button. Praise be to the mighty is on. Uh, and let's get... Do I want to start with Kronos? I mean, let's see. If I just throw the Frost Bomb, and then switch Stance, that would be two Fireballs, and then I'd be able to switch and basically get it back. But it would, wouldn't be as fluid, so I will buy Kronos then. And we'll try this out. It's a bit of a modified version of the original match, I guess. No, Mute Button does Mute PGFs. That's the point of a Mute Button. Look. You don't hear Lilith anymore. It's beautiful. Some Amani. Ah, uh, thank you, Connor, for that champion request. I will definitely play some more Amani after this. Yes. Wait, that killed me. Oh, she's playing Scorn. What? Rose Star Nine okay. <laughs> donated one dollar. Sensei Rose is what? very proud. You have earned the title of Amani Jank Master. Be proud to celebrate. Oh, the irony of that. Of TDM with the Speed Zoomies build. Fun after exams is important, you know. Also I just wanted to get my mana rift. I can't believe that seedling actually killed me, because normally that would not have killed me. But I guess with that talent, it does. So, wow. That's really embarrassing. I feel like my certification is about to be instantly revoked. Alright, let me throw that up there. Boom, and sniped. That'll show her who's boss. Yes. Oh, I got sniped by Atlas. Where's my healers? The only other people alive are my healers, and I didn't get healed. <laughs> uh. Well, let's group up. We lost that first point fight pretty embarrassingly. I blame it all on the ceiling and the fact that she's playing off meta. Now that we know she's playing ceiling, I will never die to it again, and she's going to lose the game. But it caught me off guard that one time. It, the talent really is just like Accelerant, you know? It catches you off guard once, you die to it, and then you adapt, and it never kills you again. So... Yeah. All right, fireball. We pop this. Ooh, I threaded that a little bit too close to the wall. My bad. Uh, yeah. He's dodging everything as soon as I throw the fireball. It's like he's trying specifically to dodge me. Oh, and that got stuck. Okay. Uh, there's 700. There's 900. Ooh, he does live that, though. Okay. Inferno Cannon! Boom. Okay. He's dashing around. Whoa. Oh, I think it heals. Right, let's do this. Take her out nice and easy. Oh, that would have killed him if it wasn't for the reversal. Right, let's throw this up. Dude, he jumped and deployed the wall higher than my Frost Bomb. Ah, I can't believe he actually did that. <laughs> That would have worked that time, too. Normal wall would have been fine. Oh, boy. Alright, Inferno Cannon. That takes you out. Boom. Ah, he's low. 
I'll just walk into the grenade. I don't care. Oh, what happened to my mana ball? It just went away. No 2k burst. Ah, uh, why? I just got scammed. Okay, give me that. Thank you. Wait, and... Hit him with the old one, too. Oh, except that missed. Kill me! Bruh. Okay. Uh, let's do Chronos 2. And then I'll probably stop there and go for survivability. I think I'm actually unironically gonna go for Arcane Warding here. Even though he's not playing Dark Soccer or Godslayer, he does still have a lot of ability damage. And it's also Shrapnel and Scorn, so I guess I might as well. Okay. Let's throw a Frost Bomb. Towards the point. Boom. And... Ooh, hello. Pause. Ah, okay. This is about to be very bad. I don't have Frostfire Glide to get me out of here. I have a Root. Snipe that above the shield and run very far away. Thank you for the kisses. Ooh, reversal. Stealthy, where? H hello? It, are, are the lights on in there? Is, is someone home? Huh? Okay. Ow. Uh, thank you, Io. Oop. Okay, let's not peek that. Uh, can I help with that? No, I can't. Dang. Oh! I please. Thank you. Root. Bam. Don't know how that first frost bolt missed, but at least we get to go. Ah. LeBron James or Michael Jordan? Important question. I don't know. I don't care about sports ball. What are they? Baseball players or something? Okay, I'm not. I'm not that out of the loop, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Actually going to buy that. And I'll buy some armor plating later. But, yeah. I'm tired of taking a bunch of damage from collateral with those grenades. So. Let's go. And I do have ult, so we can bring that out. A lot of good hiding spots on this map, I think. Uh, can I come over here safely? Well, they know I'm going to be here if I ult there, so... Not do that. Let's do that. And run up here. A lot of flying ults coming out right now. Inferno Cannon is strong, and we snipe him out of the sky. Yes. Oh, boy. Alright, root. Bam. Ooh, not able to hit the fireball, though. You're not playing Blast Flower. Ah, oh, but you still kill me. You are so lucky my Inferno Cannon ran out of steam. Man. Ah. Uh, tell you what though, she was Blast Flower. <laughs> I wouldn't even I wouldn't have even survived the whole Inferno Cannon. I would have just died. <laughs> uh off meta playstyles, am I right? Okay. I'm gonna bring out ults all the way back here, because I think they won't be able to find me here. Although my dragon coming from the right in the first place might give it away. But Androx is also hard left, so I think we'll be okay. What? Hello? Okay, I guess Vic slipped behind and killed me. I uh, okay. Wow. I didn't hear him at all. He was completely silent. Normally when someone goes around I can hear them, but not Vic. Oh, poor Talus. Alright. Uh, actually, stay over there. You have Sarah's heals. Here's a root. Oh, that almost hit me. Okay. Throw another one of these out. Bam. That kills him. And... Bam. Alright, perfect. Let's go around the side. I know Vic's running away. She doesn't have DR on the flutter, either. Crazy. What are you doing? Oh, you're dead. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's throw this here. Throw that out behind you. Wait for the reversal, and you should hopefully die, right? Yeah, good snipe. Alright. Throw another one of these out. Boom! Oh, that hit nobody. Sad. 
huge 2k burst. I'm just gonna run. And they don't even contest. That was just a free push from us. And they waste Willow Bolts. I will take it. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Generally don't overextend. Try to cover your buddies. High ground is good. Team fighting is important. Perhaps the most important. Too many players just go in their own directions. What are we talking about? Uh... Oh, how do you learn good positioning? I'm struggling with that. Yeah, a lot of what Claymeister said is good. It's a very complex topic, and a lot of it does depend on unique aspects of the match you're playing in, because sometimes the enemies will position themselves in a way where you have to modify what would otherwise be a good position on the high ground or whatnot. But yeah, high grounds are generally pretty good. Grouping up with your team is important. Uh, utilizing cover as well. Natural cover is good. That's why there's boxes here. You can play around these boxes and like charge up a fireball, then peek out, and shoot, and go back behind the boxes to charge up another fireball. And I had to dodge the ceiling there. You can make a whole seminar about all the unique cases when it comes to positioning. There really is a lot to cover. And it's also going to be different to other games, like more tactical shooters like Counter Strike or Valorant. Because. Yeah, you actually don't need to play around cover as much as in those games, but cover is still an important tool. But, you know, you have all these extra MOBA aspects, like healing and stuff, so... Yeah. And also positioning around, like, shields and stuff is important. There's so much. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go back here. Pop ult. And graze that Saris real quick. There's Andro. Yeah, you are not going to survive that. Just going to keep an eye on my body here. I hurt Willow Flutter. I have Arcane Warding, so I'm going to survive that ceiling on 500 HP. Like I said, Scorn is useless as soon as you know how to counter. And there we go. That's a GG. Even though Fernando left the point, now Saris is capping. Wait, Saris won the game. Ah! Okay. The gravest mistake of the new point tank is that they just rush off into the point off the rip when it's most important to go with the team and win the initial team fight. Yeah, that's absolutely true, Claymise, sir. And, yeah, honestly, if you want a bunch of general tank tips, I have them included in my Azan guide on the YouTube channel. I recommend going and watching that, because I do cover positioning a lot in that video. And, yeah, honestly, that's probably what I'm best at when it comes to positioning. Uh, especially because a lot of the other DPS I play are usually highly mobile, and so their positioning is going to be different to someone like Victor or, you know... Cassie. So I'd say I'm more comfortable with positioning on someone like, I don't know, Eevee or Bomb King. And utilizing their mobility in a way that I can do really fancy maneuvers. But, you know, maneuvers that wouldn't necessarily be good positioning for another character, right? Positioning is most important on tanks because they don't have mobility. Well, they do have mobility, but it's important to use that mobility in tandem with just good positioning to actually make space, right? Tell me Yag positioning. No, I won't, Sirlemeyer. I won't tell you Yag positioning. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Ah. Okay, I'm going to modify this build real quick. Because oh I don't think I'm getting as much value out of Permafrost as I want. So I'm going to drop it in favor of the health card to become a bit tankier. And I want to see if that makes a bit more sense. And actually what I might do as well is... Uh, let me do... Just need a filler card. That's actually good. How about I do this card? And I'll put this card down and then put this card up. So I need less Kronos. And I can divest more into survivability, I think. Maybe. Try that out. For max frost bomb spam. I'm gonna rename the build too, so they actually make a little bit more sense. Frost. Question mark. And fire. PLS Samora Mani with the German announcer. The German announcer. Okay, I'll keep that going. I also just remembered I have to do a TDM with the uh, speedy build. Imani. Which, yeah, that is that build. Okay, good. <clears throat> Counter Strike really showcases it well in pro level. Good positioning, yeah. I never really got into Counter-Strike, but I know in that game, 
because the time to kill is so much faster, good positioning is even more important. And if you're just out in the open, you're going to get destroyed. And certain map knowledge is important to you. But yeah, for Paladins, at least when it comes to tanks, yeah, I just recommend watching the Zone Guide. Because a lot of it is specifically tailored around Zon, but the generals, champion. like the general tips, can be applied to other tanks as well. All right, where's Imani? There she is. Iman. Customize your champion. The hardest to teach skill in games is positioning. Aim has training maps. Game sense is very easy to give tips and tricks. Positioning is 99% experience. Yeah, that's true. Because it's so hard to describe good positioning in some cases, you know? Like, what makes a good position in any given circumstance? It comes from trial and error, and a lot of it does also come from game sense. Knowing who you're fighting, and knowing how the enemies are playing. Observing, you know, what sort of flank patterns and tactics they're using in the very match that you're playing. And yeah, you're right. Aim is, you know, pretty easy to train. And game sense, I mean, certain parts of game sense are just understanding matchups and understanding abilities. And all that takes is a little bit of practice and actually, you know... Reading the abilities, what seeing what they do, playing against them. Start. Positioning is just more abstract. Anyways. It's Inferno Cannon time. We're gonna get the zoomies, and we're gonna zoom all over them. And it'll be absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, we'll go uh, Splitting Ice, go the build. Make this the quickest team deathmatch match. Deathmatch match? <laughs> Make this the quickest team deathmatch in the history of team deathmatches. Yes. Double support, Pog Champ. Mm hmm. They won't know what hit them. Well, They're shoot, we got stupid. Grok, Ray, and Torvald privilege. Goodness gracious, that's disgusting. All right, I'm going to do Splitting Ice and this. And we will get Kronos and Nimble. And Lethality a little bit later. Let's go. Eins. Lass die Spiele beginnen. Just gonna fly in right off the rip. And switch. And Inferno Cannon. You know what? I'm too fast for my own good. Nobody actually showed up over here. <laughs> okay. It looks like they didn't go over there at all. They went around the other side. Alright. Well, I have my Inferno Cannon back, so let's fly up here. And... Dude, I'm faster than his sprinting. That is insane. I love Swift Seer, dude. That is so much fun. Zoomies for life, man. They're the best. The best thing ever. Okay, don't die now. Please heal me. Thank you. Holy misses. Okay. Oh. I need my Frostfire Glide back. There we go. Hey, buddy. He did not even heal himself. Over right up there. Nobody's over there. Okay. I uh, should have another Inferno Cannon any second, so I'm going to fly up here and go around, and then... Well, bam! One! Zin's dead. Good. Dead. Alright, we are just smoking these guys right now. Let me come up here, and I'm going to do an Inferno Cannon from the sky. Right on top of them. Well, bam! And I'm just going to bring out the dragon right here. Kill the AFK player? She was buying items, trust me. Octavia's over there. I don't know where the rest of them are. I think I'm on the wrong side. Oop, hello. Got Vic here. Incinerate him. Yes. Alright. Semi-productive dragon, I guess. Who died? The enemy's got a point. Unacceptable. Inferno Cannon. Boom. That was huge. Alright, come here. Please just die. <laughs> he bind into the drink. Okay. Root. Boom. Dead. Boom. I need lethality. I don't even need Cronus. I just need to go faster. Here we go. Lethality 3. Max that out. Maximum zoomies. No. Stop it. I don't have Inferno Cannon yet. Hey, someone bought crystals. Nice. Thank you so much. Inferno Cannon. Oh! Wow, they were behind me as well. My team got pushed back. I didn't even realize. 
Okay, I have another ult. I'm gonna just drop right here and bring it out. If they come through that other door, I'll be screwed, but that's a risk I'm just going to take. Come here. Dead. Dead. All oh, right, triple kill for my ult. That's huge. Well, bam. Die. I think he's too far away for that bomb. Oh, no, it hit. He's not really using it properly, though. That's weird. All right, Inferno Cannon. Boom. Just a few more kills to win. Two more. One more. And game. Yay, we did it. <laughs> speed build. I think what I want to do is modify the speed build to have the Frostfire Glide reset so I can do that combo more frequently. So, but it's really fun. And we got half the kills, almost. Nice. But yeah, I know the speed card is kind of funny, but I just think it'd be more practical for me to do... Uh, Disciple. Yeah, I already have it. I just need to put it up to level 5 like that. And I can swap that out for even more cooldown reset. So we got a goofy sort of cooldown reset build here. Kind of like this funny cannon build, except slightly different. And honestly, now that I think of it, probably a little bit better. So, yay. Alright, back to Siege. I think I'll try that build out again. You were so fast you could be a German car driver, yeah. <laughs> Imani on the Autobahn with the Inverno Cannon just... Yeah. Huh? I got a whopping one kill. Are you guys proud of me? Good job. That one kill contributed to the team effort of winning the game, so yes, I am very proud of you. <laughs> oh, he's sending me friend requests. Unacceptable. You guys know I don't accept those. But people send them anyways. Every single day I have to decline friend requests. It's a sad state of being. My friend request got accepted? Yeah, but that's because you're an Eevee main. No matter the champ selection or principal screen, you see the exact same thing in the reflect on her combination? Are you talking about her metal? Imani. Having like pre-programmed in reflections? Yeah. It's probably just a way to make it, I guess, a bit less resource intensive. But yeah, I guess if you... I'm kind of looking at her leg plate right now. It kind of looks like Dragon's Call a little bit. Or Dragon Arena. It looks like Dragon's Call, I'm pretty sure. It's definitely not whatever this main menu background is. Oh. <laughs> I just noticed a good place where you can actually get a very good view of what it's reflecting, but uh, I... <laughs> I'll just hover my mouse. There you go. You can kind of see a good view of the place that's being reflected right there. <laughs> Why is that the best reflection spot? Hi res, Siege. bruh. <laughs> Select a champion. Uh, okay. Uh, Imani. Wait, stealthy. Stealthy. Imani. Thank you. Customize your champion. Yeah, Serpent Beach. This should be really fun. I hope. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Hopefully we'll get some good ultimate spots here. If they don't have much vertical mobility, it should be GG. But if they also have flanks, that would make this interesting and more fun. And this honestly will be a really good Inferno Cannon map too, because of all the verticality. I'll be able to like fly and weave myself in between nice platforms with the cannon. Oh, they do have flanks and they have genos, so I'm going to have to be really careful with my ult. Maybe even buy some arcane warding for the genos ult. And I guess also the Victor Grenade, although I don't really need it for anything else. So it's probably still better to go for armor plating. But first and foremost, we're going to get some Kronos and some Nimble. And go fast. I'm going to be lurking. I'll have you up on our lobby screen and surround system while I clean the store. Have fun, Mr. Imani Jankmaster. Yo. Hello, store. You should buy things. Buy all the things. 
everyone, ev ev everyone, everything. Buy all the things. Clean out the store. This becomes a complete waste of Rose Star time. is cleaning the store. You need to clean out the store. Great. Okay. Uh, this right. This right. And Hello, this right. This right. Yes. There we go. I'm ready. Yes, and buy crystals from the Nexus. That too. Buy all the things from all the stores. <laughs> wow, it's Koga's first time playing Paladins. Yeah, I know, right? First time playing. I'm not going to take it easy on him, though. <laughs> uh, that is also Power Cosmium Genos. Okay, that might be bait to try to get us to buy Unbound. Uh, I'm going to not buy Nimble and hold off on it. Okay, he did stick Power Cosmium, so I'll go for Unbound at the next opportunity then. All right, let's go up and over and Inferno Cannon. Oh, well, he almost died. Ooh, that root did not actually hit. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage all of a sudden. I didn't realize Koga actually hit me with a claw. That was actually a lot of damage from a lot of different sources. Okay. Well, we all completely got clobbered. It looks like it isn't actually this first guy's first time playing. Or if it is, he is absolutely insane at the game. Huh. Wow. Alright, fireball. Uh, fireball. 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 I'm trying to hit that Genos. The con's in the way. Bro, I need healing. Where's my healer? I'm taking so much damage just randomly in the back line. Crazy amounts of burst. Start to get unbound now for the Genos, but do we even have touch? We have Nyx. She's really slow. She's not going to be able to touch in time. She's just going to die. Okay. We're doing a terrible job right now. Let me try this. There we go. Gotcha. That did not, in fact, hit. And I'm crippled. Gotcha, though. Huge Saris heals. Thank you for that. I lost the Genos. Let's just do that. Root. Well, that got stuck. Right, well, over here I go. Inferno Cannon dead. Hey, it's gonna be on me. Let's run. We don't have a healer. She died. Right. Ooh, she's still over here? Oh, that root didn't hit. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing then. I'll just fly up here. Try this out. Really bad idea. There we go, I got him. Run away! Run away! Oh, nice. Nice kill. Alright, we'll live this. We'll be fine. I hear her. I think she's chasing me. Yep, she knows I'm here. There's that 1k, there's that root, and dead. Easy 1v1. Let's go. Alright. Still gotta be careful, though. But I think I can safely fly my way back and actually take out the Vic. On the way. There we go. Root. Ooh, did not hit Genos. Okay. Oh! Ooh, I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> ah! Alright, I wasn't able to successfully survive that, but I got a few kills along the way, so that's good. Let's get some Unbound. Become undone! SCA server is dead for a week, everyone getting kicked in champ selection, and Hyrus doesn't care to solve or communicate. The game is closer to death than ever. Closer to death in Southeast Asia. I mean, the servers are fine everywhere else, but that is a problem, yeah. I don't know what exactly I can do about it, but, uh... Yeah, I guess the best thing to do is just spread awareness, spread the word. Maybe make a support ticket. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how many people play in Southeast Asia. I mean, to my knowledge, it's been, like, impossible to get a game there for a very long time. I don't know. Alright, Geno, it's time to go. Goodbye. He's going to point. I'll throw that root out. That actually hits Koga dead. Hit Inferno Cannon. And just scare him away. Hit some more of these. Dead. Oh, I did not hit that fireball. I'm gonna die. Please. Ah. Oh, we lived that 50 HP. Let's go. Mr. Paladins, please fix the servers. Yes, Mr. Paladins. 
Uh, why won't you fix the game, Mr. Paladins? You're in charge of everything, Mr. Paladins. I think all online games should offer a server browser and ability to host community servers. Community servers would be great. But... I don't know. What would be the point of a server browser in Paladins? You can switch regions, but... Like... It's not like you can actively join a game that's in progress or something like that. Ultimate is ready. Yeah, it'd be great if, you know, if the game just had more players, so that regions that are very small, like SEA, wouldn't get neglected like that. I'm pretty sure it is the smallest server, right? I mean, I can't think of a server that would have a smaller population than SEA, right? Oh crap, Koga's up there too. Man, I might have actually been able to take the Maeve, but not Koga as well. He just kind of got in the way. Although he didn't actually do any damage, so that was just Maeve. And I am very dead, as is the entire rest of the team, so we need to regroup again. This time, though, I have an ace up my sleeve, and that ace is the dragon. So... Yeah. We might be able to bring that out. However, we will be in danger of Maeve, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Forgot about that as well. I got him. What is Khan doing back here? And can I get a heal? Thank you. Goodness gracious, he went for it. Nyx is going to point. Alright, let's help her out with some damage. Take out the Genos. Uh, her ult was wasted though. And I just got wrecked by Maeve. Wow. Okay. Um, let's get some armor plating now. Just to try and get a little bit more survivability versus Maeve. We need to cap the point, but that's a Victor ult. He's going to destroy Saris. And we don't even get overtime because we just failed to touch the point completely. Alright, Inferno Cannon, walk it back. I'm just gonna die. Yeah. Out of position. Our team is so staggered. I fear the day Paladins loses support and you cannot play the game you spend thousands of hours in and possibly hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I think it'll be fine, though, for a good while. Like, we're still getting major updates. The devs don't exactly seem to be fretting. And if they're not fretting, then... I, I think... I think... Everything will be okay. I hope. <laughs> the game is small, but it is still far from dead. I mean... You'll know the game is dying when, like, updates start slowing, the updates have less content, people get laid off. That'll be bad. Where is everybody? Okay, I'll root you. You got Rezo, though. My entire team is just dead, literally in the spawn doors. We don't have a bot. They're just actually getting destroyed. Alright, Maeve, what are you doing? Go away. What is it doing just dead over there, though? Like, why are they falling over like this? Hello? It's just Koga and Genos. They're not that hard to kill. Roots. Um. Alright, Sarah's ult coming out. Nice omen ult. There we go. Good stuff. I'm coming for you, Vicky. Okay, he ran away. Man, I destroyed Kobe, though. Jeez. Alright, oh, hello. Boom. Dead. Alright, let's get some healing up here if we can, Saris. Uh, okay. Might do a bit of life rip, honestly, just to supplement the heals. Okay, he'll be fine. Focus attention on you, dead. Brute. Boom. Not gonna be able to kill him. Let's run away. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Uh, oh, I didn't hit that. Okay, I'm chasing that. Come here. Boom. Fireball charged up. Not gonna be able to kill her, though. Alright, let's just do an Inferno Cannon. There we go, get that kill. Double kill. I'm dead, but we should be able to defend off this. Except my entire team is dead! Guys, stop dying, please! It's not that hard. Just stay alive. Okay, good kill on Vic. Uh, Omen versus Maeve. That's actually a very tough fight for Omen. Oh, he barely gets it. Okay, good. Ah. 
The EU should push game developers to elevate game ownership to the topic of multiplayer servers and require a certain level of decentralization for the future of communities around those smaller Infamous. games. That'd be nice. I hate that Overwatch 1 is unplayable too. I paid for that game $40, but now I have Squat. Yeah, I really don't like that. That was always something that really bugged me. I paid for Overwatch 1, and then they took Overwatch 1 away from me and replaced it with Overwatch 2. And last I checked, that's not how sequels are supposed to work. Like, <laughs> the sequel is supposed to be a separate game. And then they made it free to play for everyone, which just, like, it makes me feel like, why did I spend $20 on the game then? I kind of got gypped. It's a scam. Wow, no one's over here. Okay, I'm gonna use my Inferno Cannon as a movement ability. Pop back here, and then bolt. Let's try and see what I can do to help Saris with this Maeve, because she's gonna push that, I think. Except she's not. Okay. Well, I think I'll be fine for now. Oh, no, Koga found me. Okay. That was just really weird. The entire enemy team went left. Maeve didn't push Saras like I expected her to. And once again, my entire team is just dead all over the place. They do not know how to stay alive. Uh, Alright, Vic. You actually tanked that. No way. He lived a full Inferno Cannon. What is that, Veteran? Yeah, Veteran. Health build. Dang it, man. And I have no healing. Uh... Ah, I need healing! Oh, I'm going back to spawn and buying life rip. <laughs> I need life rip, man. There we go. Okay. Uh, I just don't see any way for us to touch point right now. I hit a quick root. Follow up with Inferno Cannon. Uh, I might just be dead again. Yeah, I'm dead. Maeve's back here. The healing's not enough. Oh. We need a politician for the gamers. Gaming for precedent. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm down for that. Man, at some point we will have a gamer president, though. Like, you know, we still got a bunch of boomers in office right now. But eventually, you know, give it a few decades, we're going to have gamers in the White House. I don't know whether that's cool or terrifying. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you. Did I miss that fireball? I might just be dead. Yeah, they simply have too much damage. Okay. Bad positioning there. To be honest, it's not really a sequel. It's just a big update. Well, it was advertised as a sequel. The product we ended up getting, yeah, is just like a... Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was just like a giant update. Oh my gosh. But it was advertised, you know, with this whole PvE expansion, which was the 2 in Overwatch 2, and now that we have literally seen that being cancelled, it's not even Overwatch 2 anymore. But yeah. It was literally advertised as a sequel, but then it replaced the original game and ended up being like a massive update. Andrew Chicken for president. Oh gosh, that'd be a terrible idea. That'd be a terrible idea. Well, we just got clobbered that game. Really was a tremendous DPS diff. They just completely outkilled us. I got 21 kills. Almost on par with the guy who literally just played his first match, if you can believe it. And yeah, Maeve also got 16 kills. Vic got 12 kills. And, yeah. Ooh, Fruity was having a rough game. And Stealthy played Omen. You know? It's it's Omen. Omen versus Maeve. Omen versus Victor. Omen versus Koga. I don't even know how Stealthy got eight kills, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's just, that's just rough. Let's queue again. And let's try and have a better match. This will probably be the last match of the day, too, because I do have to go at around three. So... Yeah, let's hope this last match is a good one. Did we end up turning it back around to be an even win rate today? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Imani matches, 50% win rate. So we gotta win this last match, otherwise the training has been a failure. Siege. Alright, Bright Mars. Go!
Customize your champion. And since I haven't used the skin all day, I'll use Dragon Forge. Just one match. We used Imani, we used Star Sister, we used Omega. We're never using Yang Zhao Long. That skin is garbage. I like to think that it just doesn't exist. Blot it out of my mind. Pretend it's fake. Just not a real thing. Bald Imani? You know, I'd rather go Bald Imani over Yang Zhao Long. So here you go. Bald Imani. <laughs> She doesn't even look that bad, bald. Like, if we're keeping it a buck fifty. People clown on it, but it's it's fine. The only real downside is that otherwise, you know, not bald Imani has incredible hair, so yeah. shame to see that go. <laughs> Cancer patient Imani, oh god. <laughs> Guys. <my> Guys! <laughs> Dang, wow, we got ranked comps up in here. Torvald Khan, Ying, Koga, Dredge on that team versus Imani, Furia, Torvald, Inara, Koga. Wow. Well, the Wrecker is going to be key here. I'm just going to go for Classic Reset. Not mess around with any of the experimental builds and stick to what I know. And hopefully, we'll be able to get the dub here. Although, they do have a very scary looking team comp, so this could go south, honestly. Bald Imani is like if Nando had no of muscles. And guardian of the realm. I feel like you guys are excessively mean to Imani, to, to be honest. People are mean to the Star change. Sister skin, people are mean to Bald Imani. Guys, just chill. People don't like the gold skin either, even though the gold skin's actually kind of good. Like, guys. Okay, uh, do I want Mana Rift or Splitting Ice? Probably Splitting Ice. I can bounce off of the deployables as well, and then we'll do main cooldown build, and we'll get some Wrecker. There we go. Like, literally the only bad thing about Gold Imani is that the gauntlets practically look the same. But actually, I'm looking at this skin, and I'm realizing that the golden gauntlets are a bit shinier and more golden than the default gauntlets. And also, it doesn't even matter. The gauntlets looks, looks good anyways. Like, who cares if they're similar to default? Okay, let's go. Up and over. This is very risky because of Torvald. But I'm gonna try it anyways. And, wow, we dropped their support. That is huge. Alright, he's just broadside spamming. Like a bozo. Hey, buddy. Let me root you in place. Dead. There we go. Okay. 1k into you. Dead. And... Dead. Inferno Cannon you. She gets the TP. And it looks like she lives for now. Teleported to a secret third position. Wow. Oh, she's so low. She actually healed herself that time, though. Man. Alright, I was up too far. That's my fault. Let's get more Wrecker, and uh, I'll probably do some armor plating after, just to play it on the safe side. Yeah, GG last game. Mike, the man. I don't know who you were playing, but GG's. <laughs> Fortunately, Beam has over two times the HPS of Hurl. Yeah, and Hurl doesn't apply Cauterize either, just like Inferno Cannon. Except, Hurl is honestly even worse than Inferno Cannon, because it does less DPS. That's crazy, man. Oof, nice stun. That was mean. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly up and around like this. And... I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. It would be really cool if you could find a way to, like, make the... There's my healer, dude. But it'd be really cool if you could, uh, make the ultimate stick up there, just, like, bolt on the roof. I don't think that's possible, though. This will help. Okay, please group up. We lost three people. All back. Fireball. There's a bit of damage. Ooh, dredge is really low. Okay, I'm just gonna ult up here. So I feel like that's the safest spot for me to be. Dang, I haven't seen default dragon fire in a while. That looks pretty cool, actually. This is such a cool character, you know? Uh, oh, he got the portal off. Okay. Well, I am doing a lot of damage, but by golly, I am doing nothing in terms of actually confirming kills. I'm trying to 
dragging through Yingles is just ridiculous. Technically, it's possible if Anara jumps up there with Tremor's walls. Oh, yeah, she could put a wall up there and I could ult on that. That'd be pretty cool. Seems a bit excessive, though. And honestly, I feel like the wall would also give away the position pretty easily. Okay. Get a root out here. Well, bam. Oh, that didn't hit. Really? I thought there were people there. Guess I was proven horribly wrong. Okay. Do we have touch, guys? Torvald's going for it. There we go. Get their Torvald off of our Furia. Let's root you in place. No portal. Just gonna walk at him. Oh, he got the portal down now. Had a portal behind him. Alright, give me that beam. Dead. Dead. Oh, uh, almost a triple kill. Let's keep on trying to push this here. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what am I doing right now? Get that. Hello? Ah, uh, okay. And it exploded back there. That's a glitch if I've ever seen one. Oh, uh, he just got healed through the entire Inferno Cannon. And we lost both of our tanks and me, so we do not push that. Alright, let's get armor plating two. And that's it for now. I may do some Kronos and possibly some Nimble later. I haven't decided what exactly I want, you know. Both tanks were not touched by the beam. Did they really both avoid it? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, the tanks have got to be looking out for those beams. Fury is going to send them to the point. Very easy to see them. You just got to walk into them. You don't even have to stand out of the them the entire time, because you get the lingering effect, and it's just so much healing per second. I rejuvenate for it, you live. Easy. Alright, let's go. Now, I could bring out Dragon right now, at the start of this fight, and see if we can just push them back. Let's do it. Giant Red Dragon. I tell you what, this dragon looks wicked. I like it a lot. Alright, Koga. Incinerated. Yingult versus Dragon. Dragon wins. Alright, very successful ult. And we get 50% cap off that, and we're going to have an easy time getting the other 50% now that they're staggered. Just going to spam into Torvald. Inferno Cannon. Oh, he silenced me. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Torvald double saved my life. Let me fall back. Where on earth is Furia? What is she doing in their backline? Furia? Okay. Well, we're going to be without healing for a while now. And at 99%, we're just not quite able to cap it. Okay. Let me snipe that root in there. Build some ult charge off that. Uh, Inferno Cannon. Okay. Oh, wow, both tanks rushed me, too. Holy crap. Okay, I'm actually going to buy Life Rift. Supplement the healing. Oh boy, Nara's dead, even with a beam on point. Yuri is dead. And we are not actually going to cap that. I feel like we horrendously made a mistake when Fury just got killed in their backline for some reason. I don't know why she was so far up. But we lost her, and then we lost the zoning because our tanks weren't able to stay on point. So, let's not be so aggressive. Okay. Uh, take that. Nice stun. I missed that, though. What am I doing? There we go. Dead. They're free pushing, by the way. We should probably stop them. Good. Oh, please don't do this to me, Torvald. Oh, I'm out of position. I'm so out of position right now. This is my bad. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna live that. Okay. You have lots of glitches with her fireball? No, I don't have glitches with it. The fireball works pretty consistently. Furia ult. She's in their back lane again. Flank Furia, I guess? It's really weird. Uh, okay. Nice stun. Take him out. Oh, well, I can't escape that. Let's get more life rip. Healer got the healer, but both of our tanks are dead again, and I don't know if Furia's... Yeah, Furia's not going to be able to survive that. 
I don't know why Fury is pretending like she's the flank. We have Koga, we have Amani, and when Fury flanks, everyone dies. <laughs> like, our tanks just collapse. We can't be doing that. Right. I'm gonna do the dragon behind them. There is no way they can touch me. Like, literally none. That's two kills. Easy. Hey, Khan! You cannot kill me. Please die. Ugh. You can't escape! <laughs> yes! Alright, success. Now let's go build more ultimate charge. There we go. Bust down that shield. Let me hit a root. Give me ultimate charge, Khan or Torvald. Khan and Torvald, shoot both of you. Give me ult charge right now. Please. Koga bringing out ult to stay alive. Lots of damage into Khan. Let's get the root. Huge. So I'm already going to be halfway to my ult by the time we go cap. That's very nice. Ooh, and 400 healing from the fireball. Let's go. Life rip for the win. Boom. Okay, no Alright, smooth 60%. I think I'm actually going to do morale boost as my final item, because I'm getting good value out of the dragon here. They're not really able to flank me, and I have a lot of good spots I can ult from on this map, so... Yeah, I'm just going to use it to get kills. Hmm. What tip would you give to an Amani main? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning this champion. That's the training stream. An idea I have for the beam card, increase the travel speed of the beam. Allow for the size card to be added to base. I don't think the size card should be added to base, though. You don't want to make it too easy to hit. Like, size card and base kit plus speed card? Doesn't need to be that reliable, and honestly, Fury is already very good, so... This doesn't seem necessary to me, honestly. Nice Torvald ult, though. Drops the tank. Roots back there does hit. Okay, buddy. I'm playing Imani. I don't care about your silly ability. Right, see that? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm so glad he didn't have ult there. He could have maybe killed me. Okay, let's Frostfire Glide in. Torvald doesn't know I'm here. Ooh. Kind of a bad plan, though. Uh, you know Let's be stupid. Let's be real stupid. Where are the enemies? Dredge is trying to spam at me. Fire on him. Alright, Ying and Torvald are coming back. Okay, kind of a waste of dragon, but I did scare them off, I guess. I don't know. That was all sorts of stupid... Okay, I'm going to run back up here. My positioning is all sorts of whack right now, and they're chasing me. I think Koga's down here. Yeah, there he is. Sun going out. Wow, I don't even get the chance to hit that fireball. Crazy. How did that miss? That was right on him. Alright. Stop it. Oh, I'm dead. EV training stream when I don't need an EV training stream. I've already mastered her. Oh boy. That's not good. Yeah, Koga just reset. Is anyone chasing you? No. Let me throw that down. Build some ult charge. I want to use the dragon soon. Try and confirm the push. Because I think I'll be able to just, you know, go to their little island. Ult and win. Alright. Oh, dead. This on point. Boom. Oh, he's so out of position and he's dead. Perfect. Alright, I want to try and start making my way to the left so I can get my dragon ready. I need any ultimate charge I can get. Oh, shoot. Hello. Oh, there we go. Good. All right. Uh, oh, don't die before I'm able to get the dragon off. No, I'm dead. Okay. Well, we're just not going to go through that plan then. We didn't have enough 
space made on the push. And our Fury is in their spawn. Furia, please, the rest of the team is dying. What are you doing? You're just gonna get yourself killed. Uh -huh. Let's try and get up here. Koga got the Koga. So after three hours of a month, what do you think is her best Why are you throwing the game selfie? And also, I was on point in line aside of the payload there. We didn't get overtime. I got scammed. Alright, what'd you say? What do you think is her best talent in loadout? Well, I mean, usually, the most effective play style is just the common cooldown reset build. And there are many variations of that. Which one you play is based on your personal preference. And then best talent, I mean... It's just so hard to say because they're also mediocre. Mana Rift is best if you need to play a slower game where you need to do a lot of sniping. I usually play uh, Splitting Ice if I'm on the move a lot, because it does give a little bit of extra damage here and there. And then Pyromania, I guess, has some niche uses, but it nerfs your DPS, so it's also kind of goofy. Anyways, it's 3-3. Three to three. And I'm not going to ult at the start. Instead, I'm going to ult on zoning. Try and use the dragon to confirm our victory once we've already gotten a few kills. Although, that's a really bad sign that Koba's already dead. All right, let me throw this back there. Furia's dead too. Furia, please, can you stop flanking? You're actually going to lose this game. Oh, uh, Torvald's dead. Thank goodness for life, Rip, man. I don't know how we capped it 48% of the way, considering we were all getting clobbered. Okay, Koga ult coming out. Oh, hello! Wow, that was aggressive. Does she at least get dredged before she dies? No, she doesn't. Yang ult's coming out. Oh, boy. Alright, it's now or never. I gotta ult as soon as I get back to the fight. Alright. Fly up and over. Oh, my God! Dude, no way! Dude! Uh, I blame Furia for that loss. She flanked the entire match. Honestly, she probably got, like, dwarfed in healing by the Ying. 82k. 11 deaths. Stealthy Y. Although, also, Stealthy did end up getting more kills than Arkoga. That was just a mess, guys. What are you doing? Why? Ugh. That was a very disappointing last match of the day, and I do have to end stream on that because I have to go now. I have things to do. So, yeah, I guess if you guys enjoyed, then follow Twitch channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, do all the things. Let's quickly raid XSTB, I guess, today. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yes, peace out.